Doing up to a 27-point inspection on our fruits and veggies, checking for things like scarring. In fact, only the best produce like zesty oranges and crisp carrots reach our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh, our higher standards mean fresher produce. Fries, fresh for everyone. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Fries, fresh for everyone. It's Macy's friends and family. Get an extra 30% off great gifts for her just in time for Mother's Day when you use your coupon or Macy's card. And take 15% off beauty essentials or shop specials she'll love while supplies last. Plus, Star Rewards members earn on every purchase except gift card services and fees at Macy's. Sign up today at Macy's.com slash Star Rewards. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. At Lowe's, it's the final days to save on top outdoor power equipment during Spring Fest. Save now on the latest in cordless outdoor power with Ego, only at Lowe's. For a limited time only, get $50 off Ego Select Cut 21-inch self-propelled lawnmower. And save $20 on Select Ego 15- and 16-inch string trimmers. Don't miss out. Spring Fest deals at Lowe's won't last. Bow to 426. Selection varies by location while supplies last. It's Spring Black Friday at the Home Depot, and we have laundry appliances that just fit. Fit your space, fit your needs, and fit your budget. Like a new Samsung laundry set with large capacity, so you spend less time doing laundry. And with sensor dry technology to automatically optimize time and temperature, you'll spend less energy on it too. Save up to $600 on this Samsung laundry set in-store and online during Spring Black Friday at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Breathe in, breathe out. Get dressed, head out. Grab some friends, camp out. Get hiked up, vibe out. Take it in, let it all out. At REI Co-op, we're here for all the outs. And we want you to spend more time outside our doors and in them. Try it out, check out, then get out. REI Co-op, all out. Visit REI.com. Climb aboard Tune and Sailing Channel for our selection of yacht rock and warm weather jams with favorites from Hall and Oaks. Steely Dan. And more in heavy rotation all year long. So whether you're looking to soundtrack your summer vacation, transport yourself to the high seas in the off season, our sailing stations got you covered. Just search sailing on TuneIn to listen. Not sure what to listen to next? Well, here's this week's top three things to listen on TuneIn. The NHL playoffs are underway. Listen to home calls of every game until a Stanley Cup champion is crowned. Keep the Jazz Appreciation Month celebration going. Hit play on Martini in the Morning for all the classics. Bloomberg Radio is bringing the latest business and financial news, as well as analysis and commentary from industrial experts from all around the globe. Find these and more trending items on the homepage of TuneIn.
season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every cra- to franchises. Um, what happens with the Phoenix Suns if Amari Stoudemire is healthy for additional years? Um, it's very frustrating, but, but you know, Bomber and the Clippers aren't the first to go through this. Other teams have had this.
on game one. Milwaukee, a record-setting night in a win in game two. And with that, we get you the keys to the game tonight from Corey, brought to you by Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. Well, for the Miami, Miami Heat, it's going to be just that, trying to find a way to neutralize Brooke Lopez in the post area. Eric Spolstra has made a change tonight. He's going to insert Kevin Love into the starting lineup. And he's going to do that because he got tired of watching Brooke Lopez dominate his team. 12 field goals for his 25 points, only took one three. He was dominant on the interior in that performance with the only Giannis on the floor. Miami won game one. Milwaukee, a record-setting night and a win in game two. And with that, we get you the keys to the game tonight from Corey. Brought to you by Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. Well, for the Miami, Miami Heat, it's going to be just that, trying to find a way to neutralize Brooke Lopez in the post area. Starting Kevin Love will help with that because of the size differential. However, Brooke Lopez still has the advantage and has been dominant on the other end of the floor for the Bucks. They're going to have to put Kevin Love in a lot of pick and roll action to try to exploit him. Of course, it hasn't been a great defensive team in the first two games, but it gets a little worse when Kevin Love's on the floor, and I'm sure that's something Buzz going to try to exploit. We'll track those as we go along tonight. Let's get to the starting lines for being introduced now. We'll start with the visitors from Milwaukee, the top-seeded Bucks, under the leadership of Mike Budenholzer. Same lineup as what we saw in game two. That means Bobby Portis is into the starting lineup tonight in the stead, basically, of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Portis had 13 points on five made field goals last time out. Otherwise, Brooke Lopez in the middle, 20-plus now in six of his last eight, dating back to the regular season. 25 points, 12 made field goals in game two. He's the NBA's leader in block shots. Drew Holiday's been dynamic. Last game out, 24 points, 11 dimes, well above our already very good regular season for the one-time All-Star. Grayson Allen, 6'4", out of Jacksonville, Florida, returns to his home state and starts tonight for Milwaukee. And then Chris Middleton rounds it out, 6'7", out of Charleston, South Carolina. Average 24 and a half points per all game in the first two in this series. Holiday, Allen, Middleton, Lopez, and Portis for Milwaukee. Meanwhile, for Eric Spolster and the Miami Heat, yes, we talked about Kevin Love. He makes his first postseason start since game four of the 2018 NBA Finals. Only played 11 minutes in the last game, but he'll go alongside Bam Adebayo on the front line. Adebayo at 6'9", had a career high point score this year. He's coming off of an 18-point performance in game two. Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, Jimmy Butler. That's how it rounds out. Of course, Butler is the uh, star of the show here in Miami. 35-point postseason game with Miami now 10 times in his career. In the last game, he had 25 and made seven free throws on top of eight field goals in the ball game. Vincent Struess, Butler, out of bio, and love for the Miami Heat. Our officiating crew tonight from the National Basketball Association, Eric Lewis is the crew chief, Kevin Scott and Rodney Mott also on the whistle. Milwaukee wears the forest green jersey and shorts, the cream-colored letters and numbers with Milwaukee across the chest, the home whites tonight for the Miami Heat, and that signature script across the chest with a flaming T. Those letters and numbers trimmed in black. Lopez and Adebayo in the circle. We're set to go. Game three is underway, and the opening possession belongs to the Miami Heat. Thanks for being with us tonight. Al Rosenberg's our engineer. Mike Martino's our producer on site. Miami shooting at the end to our right. In the paint, a little runner by Vincent, missed it, tried to tip and it's missed. No good, and a rebound by Drew Holiday. He got a very clean look twice. Holiday crossover dribble through the left elbow, below the, below the broken line, spin shoots, and that's not a fader, and that's how this one begins. And let's look forward to seeing a more aggressive Drew Holiday throughout this entire game. He knows the responsibility without Young. The left baseline on the bio catches, works uphill to the foul line extended, over to Love. Bring left three, no good. Middleton has the rebound. He'll bring it up the center of the floor. He's going right to the rack, lays it up. Left hand attempt, no good. Rebound Love. Broken floor ahead to Butler. Pump fake, shoots and scores point blank on Drew Holiday, and Miami's on the board. And a smart play by Drew Holiday, recognizing he could not pick up a foul this early in the game, so pretty much allowing Jimmy Butler to get that layup to go early, but that could be dangerous also. Rare half-court set here in the opening minutes. Holiday over two screens up top, working to his right, hands to Allen. 
just to the right of the top of the arc. Sends it across the top of the arc, and Middleton off the catch is called for an offensive foul. He threw a shoulder into Gabe Vincent, and that turns it over. A great job by Gabe Vincent recognizing once Middleton lowers that shoulder to absorb the contact and go down. If he doesn't go down, he doesn't get that call. Vincent will bring it across, tied to two. A minute 20 into the first period. Love out on the angle screen. Vincent to the foul line, the broken line. Sends it wing right. And gathering on a fumble there is Struz. They'll reset up top. Vincent around the high screen. Popping was Love. That's where the pass went. Then he dives in the lane. And so the Aaron pass goes out of bounds. And Gabe Vincent looking at Kevin Love, wondering, what are you doing going inside the three-point line? That's not your job. Stay out there, space the floor, knock down the three ball. And that's the look he gave us. He stepped out, popped out, and then left. Milwaukee lobs it into Middleton, draws a double team, block left. Middleton gets underneath the goal, leaves in the paint. Lopez reaches up and scores with ease. And nice footwork by Middleton, just tiptoeing along that baseline to get out of that double team. Points off turnover, and that's one thing that killed Miami in game two as the jumpers missed off the elbow by Adebayo. Milwaukee scored 30 points off 17 Miami turnovers in game two. Holiday rips the three off the right wing. Good start for Holiday. He's got five. It's seven to two bucks. 9.45 to go in the first. Little pitch and catch. Vincent down the left slot. It's under the goal. He tight ropes the baseline. Flipped it to Struess. Ball spiked and turned over. Grabbed by Lopez in the paint. We'll send it ahead. Middleton had it knocked loose. Stolen by Jimmy Butler near the top of the key. Two on one. The Struess direct dumped it with the right hand. Turn about his fair play. Yeah, two turnovers already for Chris Middleton. You see that swarming when he has the basketball in his hands. He's going to have to be a little, a little more aggressive trying to get downhill in comparison to being passive. 7-4, Milwaukee leading ball as Middleton catches between the circles. Give and go here to the left wing, and Middleton missed it off the handoff from Portis. Rebound, long outlet to Butler. Kind of flopped on a minimal contact from Holiday. Butler now holding right ball on extended. Spins on him, works with the right low post, and lowered the shoulder, ran him over. Holiday is so quick and smart, he able, somehow got in position to take a charge. I've been saying for the last three years that Drew Holiday is one of the best two-way players in the game, maybe the best two-way guard in basketball right now, and he's showing it off, not only scoring five points early, but taking on the challenge of guarding Jimmy Butler as well. All defensive team more than once in his career. Lopez on the left elbow. Dribble handoff here. Turning, shooting, Allen through three. It's off the right side of the rim and cleared by Love. Still 7-4 to four as we get toward the 8.5-minute mark. Butler now just left at the top of the arc. Give to Love. Fires through three. Oh, mercy. Love, who had just a couple of buckets last time out, has himself a triple here to tie the game. But he makes this Miami offense difference with the floor spacing, and, of course, that's where he was supposed to be on the last one. Holiday for three straight away. Answers right back. Holiday already now with eight. And Holiday taking advantage of when Jimmy Butler's not guarding him, he's gone at everyone else has stepped up to try to defend him. 10 7 Milwaukee. Butler hands it to Vincent. Angle right three. Short. If you like the three point shot, you're in for some fun tonight. Yeah, both these teams letting it fly. They've done so throughout the first two games of the series. Portis, nifty move to the left side of the lane. Runs it up and in with the right hand. So there's been seven combined now three-point attempts in the opening period. We're not halfway through this quarter. Largest lead here early for Milwaukee at five. Adebayo catches top of the key to his left. Love for three. That's off the rim, no good. And a rebound by Allen. It was not a Miami player below the foul line. 7.28 to go in the period. Off the high screen by Lopez. Allen picks it up right side of the lane, puts it back to the goal. Short give to Holiday, harassed by Butler. Pull up jump. Long two, and he ripped it. Double figures already for Drew Holiday. Well, never mind. I thought he was picking on everyone else, but he joined Drew, <laughs> Jimmy Butler in the mix also, getting buckets on everybody. Stumbling to the right side of the lane. Vincent gets on the goal. Lost the handle. Somehow saved it before the Struce fires and hits a three out of the far corner. And that's what Miami needs. They need the Struce to get loose here on the home floor. We watched him in the play-in game knock down a number of huge three-point field goals. Each team has a pair now. Lopez catches. Left block. Turns. Shoots. Missed it. Awfully close. Love's got another rebound. Ahead to Adebayo. Short bounce pass to Butler working on Holiday here wing right. Left hand dribble into the paint, pivots, spin, shoots on a fade, short. Popcorn rebound back to Butler near the right sideline. 
Butler paused, shoots for three, and nails it from the right side break. That cuts it to a one-point game, 14-13. Jimmy Butler said, forget all that banging on the interior. Let me go ahead and just step out behind the three, knock this one down right quick, and get some points on the board for my squad. Interesting start, <laughs> wouldn't you say? It has been that exact. All right, 6.22 to go here in the first. Holiday starring so far for the Bucks. Butler carrying an early load here with Love on the Miami side. 6.22 to go in the first. Milwaukee 14, Miami 13. You're listening to the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. This week on Sunday Night Baseball. Deep left field, Pete Alonso goes yard into the bullpen. The New York Mets finish up the last leg of a seven-game West Coast road trip. When they go head-to-head with Brandon Crawford and the San Francisco Giants. Brandon Crawford! Brandon Crawford a home run. The New York Mets at the San Francisco Giants. Coverage begins tomorrow at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN. You can also listen on the ESPN app and on your smart speaker. Welcome to the final push where greatness is tested. Where unstoppable forces collide. Legends break through. And legacies are etched in gold. It's playoffs time, and whatever happens next is going to be beautiful. The NBA playoffs continue on ESPN and ABC. It's greening, and it's one of the biggest weekends of the year. NBA playoffs in full swing, and we're headed towards the week of the NFL draft. We'll have it all covered for you Monday morning. It's greening, starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Give us a new era of Major League Baseball. It's faster. It's electric. It's baseball at its best. Somebody hit the mic. Let me hit the mic. It's gone. Sing it. All goes That ball is hammered. The rest is history. Give us Sunday Night Baseball. Mets. Giants. Sunday at 7 Eastern on ESPN. Presented by Casamigos Tequila. Coming up Monday, we'll recap all the playoff action in the NBA and get you ready for the NFL draft. Keyshawn J. Willemax, Monday morning, 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. With you inside of Granger Studios. Don't forget to log on to our Twitter account at NBA on ESPN Radio to vote for the AutoZone in the zone. Poll question Who's going to get in the zone for tonight's matchup? Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton for the box, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo for the Miami Heat. In the zone, brought to you by AutoZone. What makes AutoZone America's number one battery destination? They offer free battery testing and charging and reliable replacement batteries, and they've always got your battery solution. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Good start for the Milwaukee Bucks, once led by seven. Here comes the charge from Miami. 14 13 is our score. 6.22 to go in the opening quarter. Back to South Florida with Corey Alexander. Here's Sean Kelly. Yeah, Kev, a little 6 0 run working here for Miami to pull back within 1 14 13 at 6.22 to go in the first. Early takeaways, partner, for you. Drew Holiday's here for business. <laughs> he is here to trying to get a win. 10 points from him already, 4 for 4 from the field. Jimmy Butler not ever going to back down from a great matchup, but I think we've got one between those two stars. We had some old heads in the starting five on both sides tonight, so I did a little math during the time. Uh-oh. Out. Combined years in the league, that includes this year, Miami Heat's five starters, 39, Milwaukee, 53. Ooh. 53. That, that's, uh, well, I mean, when you think about Brooke Lopez, has been around forever. Yes. And Drew, Drew Holiday. People forget that Drew Holiday was actually an all star back when he was in Philadelphia. Many people don't even remember he played in Philly. Exactly. That's how long he's been around. Drafted in 09. A couple of subs in. Lopez catches mid post left side of the lane. Missed a short one. That's two he's missed within about eight feet. Miami's first touch coming out of the timeout. There's out a buyout of the free throw line. Rises, shoots, missed a 14 quarter. Middleton has the rebound. Joe Ingles in for the first time now tonight on the Milwaukee side. Starting five for Miami, still intact here. Middleton tees up a three straight away. Buried it. Eric Foster's prepared for all the threes that they would see from the Bucks, but he doesn't want Chris Middleton getting easy looks like that. No one stepping up in that drop coverage to contest the three. Third, or three points for Middleton tonight on that first make it 16 in game two, that monster win. Struce takes from out of bio, works downhill, left side of the paint, raise it up. No, tip follow won't go for Bam. Picked up by Butler, shoots well, don't follow. 
thrown down by Adebayo. That's my favorite Bam right there. I love to see him when he's aggressive, attacking the offensive rim and finishing with authority. Bam now trying to steal it from Middleton on the right sideline. Middleton shakes him with a left-hand dribble. Pump fake shoots in the contact. Fouled on the play. Smart play by Chris Middleton. Recognizing when you're playing against Bam Adebayo, one, he's a very good shot blocker. Athletically, he can defend the position, but he's a good shot blocker, which means with that pump fake, you're going to get him in the air. And, of course, the best way to deal with Bam Adebayo with your opponent is to get him in foul trouble and get him out of the game. Great smart play by Chris Middleton in that possession. First free throw is good. Okay, so let's go back to the offensive conversation. You and I were here a week ago during the play-in tournament. No, we'll, you know, Miami did not look like an offensive basketball team at that time. And here all of a sudden now, they're scoring north of 120 each time out. It gives. Honestly, I believe that neither of these teams have lived up to their defensive reputation. And, of course, I think that has a lot to do with it. With Giannis going out as game one, I think that threw Milwaukee off. But Miami goes to confidence shooting the three. And that's really been the difference for them, the way they've shot the three throughout this playoff. All right. Both free throws good. 19-15 Milwaukee. Miami ball at the end of our right. Send it to Vincent. Right side break. Drives on Ingles. Layup blocked by Lopez. He came in and knocked it away. Loose ball for Holiday. Up the left sideline of Middleton, and it's deflected out of bounds by Love. I'm not sure Gabe Vincent read the scouting report that said that Brooke Lopez is the leader of block shots in the NBA right there. He went up rather casually, not expecting for Brooke to come over, and that's what he did. 193 blocks during the regular season. Once again, that's what he did. <laughs> now, he did lead the NBA in average per game. That was Jared Jackson, too, correct? Correct. So, Brooke ended up third in that category, blocks per game, but total, total blocks. blocks. There's Brooke. Allen drives through two, collides in the lane with Kevin Love. And the foul is going to be against Kevin Love, it looks like. Smart play there by Grayson Allen getting downhill. And, of course, whenever you're defending the Milwaukee Bucks, when guys are attacking the paint, of course, you're always looking to score, but it's also that kick out for three. Instead, that's not going to be a shooting foul. Oh, it's on Caleb Martin. He fouled him before the collision with Love. Hey, Crowder's in for the first time. Feeds Lopez, right low post. One-on-one -on -one against Love. Turns right hook. That's old school and delightful. What a shot. Well, we've gotten used to seeing Brooke Lopez out beyond the three-point line when Giannis is on the floor, but he's a dominant post presence when there's no Giannis for the lineup. Lead back to six now for the Bucks. 21-15. Butler wing right. Trying to get loose a holiday. Takes him to the top of the yard. Releases to Love and gets it right back. Butler drives to the rim, and they got mixed up on the switch, and he's there for an easy two at the cup. 21-17. Rare mistake, especially miscommunication between Holiday and Lopez, and then Lopez just takes his eyes off the ground ball. That's one you got to put the glove in the dirt. Go pick it up, big fella. Right through the five hole. It rolls across half court, over and back. And right now, Lopez and Holiday still communicating regarding the defensive breakdown on the previous possession, and that cost them on the offensive end of the floor. You can tell that Brooke Lopez's concentration wasn't even on the offensive end of the floor at that time. He was thinking about the defensive laps on the last possession, and he's going to get a blow right here. Bobby Portis checks in for him to go over and we'll shake it off a little bit. Kyle Lowry's checked in. He was a bit of a question mark coming into the game. Good to see him coming off the Miami bench. He's still not 100%. The left knee that's been giving him issues. He pitches it into Butler, walks the dribble to the top of the yard. Right hand bounce to the right side of the floor. Holiday picks him up defensively. Tend to shoot. Butler trying to back him through the right elbow. Spins, shoots on a fade, and rinsed it. Too high, too long for Jimmy Butler, and he's cut it to two. Yeah, great matchup between one of the better offensive players and one of the better defensive players in the league. Loose ball, dive into the deck. Holiday and Martin, and a jump ball will be called here. Caleb Martin and Drew Holiday will jump for it. In the circle to our left with 3.34 to go in the corner. But a small plays like that, Drew Holiday lost that basketball. But even though he lost the basketball, he found a way to get both hands on it and caused the jump ball. Who knows who wins this one? Because, of course, Caleb Martin is a great athlete going up against another great athlete, Drew Holiday. But if Holiday's able to win this jump ball, he maintains that possession for his team. Pat Connaughton has come in now on the Milwaukee side. 21-19 bucks. John Kelly, Corey Alexander, the NBA on ESPN Radio. Jump ball, won by the Bucks. A 50-50 ball was grabbed by Joe Ingles, so hand it to Holiday, who picks up his dribble angle right. Reset to Ingles in the circles, 
Ingles off the jab step, drives, steps through the elbow to Portis with a pass, going right three, no good. Martin grabs the rebound for Miami. Up the floor to Lowry, big high bouncing dribble, almost let it loose. Pass to Butler, top of the yard, drives with the contact, hits a drifting Lowry, shoots off the catch, missed it, sideline left from three. Rebounded by the Bucs, they'll get it up to Connaughton. Shovels it to Holiday. Holiday thought about attacking, steps back, wing left, two will go. And a very, very athletic spike of the ball by Struess to get it to Martin and get a stop for the Buc- or the Heat. Down the floor to Adebayo. Block right, bump, bump, ball knocked loose. Off the knee of Adebayo. Well defended by Bobby Portis. And that should take us to a timeout. So both teams getting some stops here down the stretch in the first quarter, and as a result, we're now well below the pace that we saw in games one and two. 2.41 to go in the first, Milwaukee 21, Miami 19. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app, presented by Indeed. This is it. Enough dreaming about growing my business online. It's time to get serious about selling in my style, as big as I want to grow, because there's nothing I can't do. It's time to get Shopify. You go and get it. Oh, oops. I thought I was just talking to myself there. But heck yeah, I do. It's time to take my business to the next level. Start selling with Shopify to join the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand. From templates that make site design simple to customization that let you grow at your pace, this is possibility powered by Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash play. That's shopify.com slash play. Go to shopify.com slash play to take your business to the next level today. James C. Harris here for Spencer's TV and Appliance. And right now, during their grand opening sale, you might win $10,000 worth of kitchen appliances. Buy an Amana washer or dryer, only $4.29 each, or an Amana 18.2 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator, only $6.49, and 12 months no interest financing. See store for details. Remember, no matter where you see it, read it, or hear it, Spencer's will beat it. 10 Valley locations. Check them out at spencerstv.com. It's like having a friend in the the business. At Fry's, shopping with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in store. Same low prices, deals, and rewards on the same high quality items. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for busy families everywhere. Start your cart today at Fry'sFood.com. Fry's, fresh for everyone. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Fry's, Fresh for everyone. Kevin went to with you inside of Granger Studios. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the NBA playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Earlier today, the Suns beat the Clippers, go up 3-1. Sixers complete a sweep of the next time now for Digital. Brought to you by Geico. Whether you rent your own, Geico makes it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Go to geico.com today. Did you know it's the first Sixers sweep of any series, no matter the games, since 1991? Did you know it's their first sweep of a seven-game series since Sean Kelly, Corey Alexander, 1985 in the second round? Back to you. You want to know what I was doing in 1985? What's that? I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, <laughs> you weren't surprised by the way that series ended, though, were you? I was not surprised okay. by the way the series ended, but I believe that the Philadelphia 76ers built a lot of confidence in the number of guys. Tobias Harris won, James Harden two, and, of course, Tyrese Maxey continued to play great basketball in the playoffs for a young player. All right, put your finger on the pulse of what you're seeing right now. 2.41 to go in the period. A great matchup between Jimmy Butler and Drew Holiday because they've been the offense and the defense for both these teams thus far. Each of them have four field goals, and their teams combined have four respectively, so they've been the offense, especially in this game. Holiday gets deep, throws corner left for Portis. Bucks lead by two. Portis shoots into contact, and another offensive foul called. The ball dropped in as he kind of supermaned it toward the cup, but ran over the defender. That's twice now 
Milwaukee's been whistled for a charge. Now, that rule, of course, has changed over time because in, back in again, once again, years ago when I was actually playing professional basketball, you could still get that bucket even though there was a charge, especially if you released the ball before the contact, which did happen in that possession for Bobby Portis. Another turnover, and by the way, Miami took 91 charges during the regular season. Out of bio catches deep, kind of a half-left hook is bouncing off the rim and grabbed by Portis. Those 91 charges taken were second in the NBA. Holiday deep three straight away. Won't go. It would have been first if Kevin Love had been here for the entire season. Uh -huh. He's good at that. Yep. Butler at the top of the arc. Out to catch is the birthday boy, Duncan Robinson. From 29 today. Butler for three. Stroked it. Jimmy. And look at here now. Miami's grabbed the lead 22 to 21. The Jimmy's in playoff mode right now. We see in playoff Jimmy, a.k.a. playoff Hemi, showing up here. He's got a dozen to lead all scorers in the period. 130 to go. Ingles eludes the man. Angle left three. Can't answer. Rebound. Tip to himself. It's Butler. Wouldn't you know it? And Butler will bring it up along the right side. Butler, pump fake for three, shoots in a contact. The shot is short, but the foul is going to be against Connaughton, who kind of leaned into the shooter. And yeah. Jimmy Butler is going to get three free throws. And, of course, it's way too early to challenge that. However, Jimmy Butler created that contact. That content would have never even come close to him. He would have passed him by if Jimmy Butler didn't step into that shot. <laughs> I, know, I know it's too early to challenge, but I think if Bud had challenged that one, he probably would have won. You see Jimmy lunge forward to get that contact with a three. I wish I could argue with you, but I can't. <laughs> First free throws of the game here for Miami at the 117 mark. Yeah, and here's the question. And Brooke Lopez trying to go in. It looked as though we saw the replay. Jimmy stepped across that line, across the three-point line to get that shot. So, Brooke Lopez thinking that it's only two shots, oh. and Jimmy's awarded three for that. Now, Lopez is going to go talk to the official. Second free throw is no good. Now, Lopez is allowed to check in after the second offer. There you go. Yeah, Rodney Mott says, hey, we said three, and that's what we're going with. And it wasn't anything. They went over to look at the monitor to yeah. find out. I mean, they called it a three on the floor. But the way that Jimmy had to step in to get that contact, I'm sure he stepped over the run. 9-0 run as Butler hits two of the three free throws, give him 14 points. Meanwhile, Milwaukee has not hit a field goal since 438 on the clock. And it's down three. Out of the left-hand dribble. To the left side of the lane, wraparound pass deflected out of bounds, and then off the hand of Pat Connaughton, who's arguing that it was off Lowry. It's Miami ball linked to the floor to go. 105 to go in the quarter. Remember, you just well, not, if you're just joining us, you wouldn't be able to remember this. But regardless, there was once a seven-point lead by the Bucks in this quarter. Yes, it was that. It was far by Drew Holiday being aggressive on the offense in the floor, but Jimmy Butler's taking over here. Ohio into the paint. Digging in was Holiday. Not to lose. Bam picks it up. Scoops it out to Butler. Wing left for three. Boom! Butler's got himself a heck of a quarter now. 17 in the opening period. And they dared Jimmy to take that shot. Not as if he already has a knockdown at three and been hot here in this first quarter. It was a dare shot where he had to take. 27-21. Holiday for three up top. That's jammed against the rim. No good. Adebayo clears it. Adebayo brings it up himself. Pauses. Picks it up. Elbow left. Over to Butler. Wouldn't do it again, would he? He's he's wing he, left. He should have. Drives, kicks. Martin for three. Wing right. Off the front iron. No good. Loose ball foul against Milwaukee. On the weak side, it's Lopez. Lopez whistled here. Not that it slowed Bam down at all, but the whistle... Gets air in it here at two or 24 seconds left in the quarter. And in the bonus, out of bio goes to the line at our right. Still can be a positive possession. However, you know, on white hot night here, you've got heat on the front of your jersey. What better time to take a heat check if you're Jimmy Butler? You're lined it up. You've got a mismatch on the perimeter. There's a script, and we're following it. This is how the movie's supposed to be written, right? I, I guess. Okay. And he made the right play. He got to the paint. He kicked it out. Caleb Martin got a good three. But, man, I'll tell you what, if I ever get on a heater like that, well, it'll never happen to me again. But if I ever did, <laughs> best believe I'm shooting until I'm cold. 
Speaking of cold, it is freezing in this building. I wish I'm that glad Jimmy Butler the first play would, say it. Yes, would warm this place <laughs> up a little bit. Because it's supposed to be white hot in here, but it's not. Al Rosenberg, our engineer's nickname is Blue Line. The blue tonight is for ice. 14 nothing run down the stretch of the quarter here for Miami after the free throws made. Holiday front court right. Ola Depot's hounding him out there. Through left hand dribble, gets in the paint, pump shoots below the broken line, deflected. On a bio with a loose ball. Three, two. Bam's got to let it fly. They're going to get a shot off. He got it across half court to Robinson, but not in time for a last second look. What a run. 14 zip for Miami to end the quarter, and it's 17 points in the first 12 minutes for Jimmy Butler. I'm going to have to do my research during the timeout to see how many of those points in that 14-0 run did Jimmy Butler score, because it seemed as though he scored all of them. Go get started. <laughs> Second quarter's coming up. Game three here in Miami. It's the Heat 29, Milwaukee 21. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. A traditional 15th anniversary gift is Crystal. So for Tommy John's 15th year, they're making it crystal clear that you deserve to be unbelievably comfortable every day. When you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Because Tommy John underwear moves with you thanks to breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. And with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, people love their Tommy John underwear. That's why Tommy John doesn't just have customers, they have fanatics who say Tommy John has the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. Plus, there's no risk because everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Get 25% off site-wide now through April 27th at TommyJohn.com slash stream. 25% off site-wide right now at TommyJohn.com slash stream. See site for details. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy, and this is why I switched to Shopify. I tried three other platforms prior to Shopify, and I remember my breaking point was when I would try to make one little change and my entire site would go down. Shopify made it really easy for me to shift everything over and hit the ground running. I was able to migrate my products and all of my customer information over. Start your free trial with Shopify today. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer 23. Take your business to the next level today. When Shopify says you can sell anywhere, oh, they mean it. Woo, hold up. Just got a new sale. Whoa, Shopify doesn't mind if you're at sea level or on top of the world. Whether you're selling carabiners or crop tops, start selling with Shopify today and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash specialoffer22. Shopify.com slash specialoffer22. Kevin Winter with you inside of Granger Studios. One quarter complete in South Florida. Bio into the paint. Digging in was Holiday. Knocked it loose. Bam picks it up. Scoops it out to Butler. Wing left for three. Oh, boom. Butler's got himself a heck of a quarter now. 17 in the opening period. Inside the numbers brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Butler's 17 in the opening quarter. Tied for the most by a Heat player in an opening quarter over the last 25 postseasons. It is a current 14 nothing run from Miami. They lead by eight. Corey Alexander, Butler's got 12 of the 14. Back to you and Sean. I appreciate Kevin doing the math for me. Well, you already had it. Yeah, we, we had it, yeah. but, you know, like I say, when, I, I love when we can ask a question and my guy Kevin Litter's on top of on it. Sure we got to come back. On it. Also, in that run, let's dissect the run a little bit. Milwaukee misses their last six shots. Also had a couple of turnovers mixed in as well. Yeah, Drew Holiday, who got off to a, such a great start. Cooled off down the stretch, but give Miami's defense a lot of credit. Coming up with another turnover. Steal for Miami to start the period. Sixth turnover now on the Bucs. We're underway in the second. Miami leads 29-21. Oladipo over the drag screen, turns the corner, spins on a pirouette, shoots to the broken line, and scores. When it's going your way, it's going your way. Similar to last season, Victor Oladipo getting minutes now in the playoffs due to the injury to Tyler Hero as Miami goes zone. Lopez catches at the dotted line, steps back, shoots from the foul line. And missed that. The Bios stole the rebound from his own teammate. Reached over the dome of Lowry. Ham brings it up, stops to the nail. Turns, 
Chucks it out to Duncan Robinson. Birthday boy for three. Left side. Yep. What a run now for Miami, whose lead has grown to 13, 34 to 21. A 19-0 run. Lopez catches, shoots, and hits the 15-footer, assisted by Carter. A necessary bucket for Milwaukee right now, but they're having a hard time trying to figure out a way to stop the heat on this end of the floor. Both teams are shooting about the same percentage. Robinson off the bounce, rips a three-pointer right side. And thought he was fouled. I'll tell you what, Duncan Robinson's had immediate impact here on the home floor in the playoffs. We're talking about we met, we were here last Friday. He didn't even get into the game yeah. in the play-in. And now he's stepping up getting positive playoff minutes. Started in game two. Allen, contested three left side, barely moved the net. Big answer. Big and much-needed bucket for Milwaukee. Well, one thing's for certain, the Bucks are not going to panic. They've been here before, and this is a team that is resilient, and they've got a lot of firepower on the offensive end of the floor. Now it's simply about figuring out the Miami defense. 37-26, Heat. Lowry in the right front court, bounces over the top of the arc down to bio. Lowry chases the pass, grabs it, drives under the rim, comes out right of the lane, pitch it out to Robinson. Robinson hugs it like a running back for the baseline. Whips it out left side. Martin launches a three and couldn't knock it down before the shot clock sounded. Milwaukee trying to make a push now. Off the Lopez screen. It's Middleton to the top of the key. Hits a rolling Lopez catch. Goes up strong. Missed at point blank range. Rebounded by Robinson. Off the floor to Adebayo. Off the hesitation. Drive and kick. Finds the corner. Oladipo spins. Block left. Shoots. Missed a four footer. Everybody's barking at the officials right now who are letting them play. 37-26. Both teams shooting 43%. Donaldson drives from the right wing, kicks to the corner. Allen off one bounce, shoots, and buries the three off the far side. Grace Allen's found the home in Milwaukee. They're allowing him to shoot the three, and he's taking advantage of it on two of the last three possessions. He can get going on you. He's, he's gone for seven, eight threes three times in his career. Robinson off the wing screen, drives, tries to hit a late rolling on a bio, and on the catch, he's popped. Foul called here. It's 8.56 in the first half. How about Delta Robinson staying ready for when his number was called, stepping on the floor, knocking down two threes, and now starting to make plays, getting inside the painted area. And, of course, that's all you can ask for a professional. To be ready when your number is called. I can tell you right now, Sean Kelly, when I was called coming off the bench, not as good. No? Not as good. That's not what I heard. Robinson's two threes tonight have tied him with a very significant member of the Heat family. Off the inbound, out of bio, works Lopez to the rim, but he missed it right at the side of the of, of the uh, bucket. Milwaukee gets a clear here. Middleton drives it behind his back. Goes to Allen. Wing left. Three's too long. Well, Grace Allen never really got that one into his shooting pocket. Tried to get it off too quickly. Lowry heels. Throws back out to Oladipo. Goes through the legs of the pass of Carter. Got it back from Adebayo. Get the Robinson. Bounce pass to Bam. Shoots at the free throw line and scores. And Bam has been struggling with that shot. Early in the playoffs and even in the play-in, but steps up and knocks down the 15-footer right there. And if he gets that going consistently, he could be dominant. Steal by Oladipo. Oladipo runs out to the other end. Leaves for a trailing. Martin lays it up. No good. He's fouled. Blocking foul on Grayson Allen. The only buck back. And it'll be a pair of free throws here for Miami at 8.04 to go in the second quarter. Real quick about Robinson. is two threes here in the first half now. Give him 97 career postseason three-pointers, tying him with Dwayne Wade for third all-time in franchise history. And you think about the time. I mean, it's been a very short stint for Duncan Robinson, who really didn't get many minutes at all in the playoffs last season. So he's been able to do a lot in just a little bit of time. And I think we may see him pass D. Wade here at some point this evening, the way he's shooting that off to a great start. Subs coming on both sides. Ten-point lead for Miami with... Martin at the line to our right. First free throw is good for Caleb Martin, who is now seven for eight in the series at the free throw line. Butler returns. Uh oh. <laughs> Replaces Oladipo. Kevin Love, who started tonight for the first time since game four of the finals in 2018, has come back in for a second run. Holiday just returned to the floor. So Holiday, Middleton, 
Portis, Lopez, and Allen for Milwaukee and Mike Budenholzer. Second free throw. Too strong. Rebound off the fingers of Middleton grabbed by Allen. 40 to 29, Miami. If we roll underneath the eight-minute mark. Holiday crossover dribble takes it toward the right sideline. Turns and they swing it across. Middleton catches from Portis and in the cookie jar here, Lowry got caught. Foul against Lowry called by Kevin Scott. Chris Middleton tried to get the shot up to get a shooting foul. However, will not be awarded that. But Kyle Lowry wanting the foul to be on Bobby Portis felt like he was holding him. Eric Spolstra is in the ear of Mr. Scott. Off the near sideline where Spolstra was standing. Milwaukee throws it in. Holiday to Middleton. Eight to shoot. Chest pass to Allen. Drives from the right angle to the left elbow. To the left low post. Pump shoots. Missed it. Went off the glass rim all the way around and came out. Little Depot on the move. Leads for a leaning Robinson in the three. Good. He just passed Dwayne Wade. 98 career postseason three-pointers. Three here in the early goings of this one. And Miami tops their lead up to 14. We had a feeling Dr. Robinson would be able to pass D. Wade, but he actually did it off a great defense, a one in the floor that turned into a wide open three, well, wide open according to Dr. Robinson on the other end. Could ask for a better start if you're a fan of the Miami Heat. Here in game three with the series tied at one, it's Miami 43, Milwaukee 29 with 7.28 to go in the first half. You're listening to the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. We live in a day of moral, spiritual, and political decline and decay that looks like everything is headed toward death. Will God intervene and how could God turn the tide before the end of our lives occurs? God raised up a man named Elijah. We're gonna study his life in the Bible. God is calling us to be like Elijah. So, you've got an idea for a business. The store of your dreams. There's just one thing to figure out. Everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media, source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer 23. I'm Zoe. I own Muck and Brass, which is an upcycling homewares business. And this is why I switched to Shopify. One of my biggest challenges was the lack of support when I really needed it. And it would always slow down the momentum of my business. With Shopify, I could get hold of a real person quickly. And not only would they solve a problem I had, they'd also give me the tools to feel empowered moving forward. Start your new journey today on Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer 23. Here, moment makers are everywhere, from those in housekeeping to hospitality, from the front desk to the bars to the restaurants and the pools, who turn simple moments for our guests into lasting memories. And they can turn a job into a career, a career that turns coworkers into family, working together for the greater good of our community. Gila River Resorts and Casinos, this is your moment to shine. Children are born learning. From birth to age five, they develop faster than any other time in life. Great childhoods are made in these first five years, in play and in conversation, at home and outside, in quality childcare and preschool, and in our communities, in the simple everyday moments that help kids be ready for success in school and in life. First Things First is Arizona's early childhood agency with free programs and resources to support great childhoods. Learn more at azchildhoods.com. Kevin went to with you in our Granger Studios. Told you earlier that the Sixers complete the sweep with the Nets. Tobias Harris said 25 spoke with TNT. They're going to win without Big Fella. We played with him uh, without him in a, in a couple games this year. So we knew that we had to switch up the game plan uh, by the way that they were playing. And so, you know, tough for us to come out here and get this victory. It feels great for the whole group. What do you want to say to the big man watching from home? Hurry up and get your 
Congratulations. Congratulations. I love it. Congratulations. Tobias. Tobias Harris with Allie LaForce. Sean Kelly, Corey Alexander. That may not come as soon as they want. Doc Rivers says it's 50-50. MB plays in game one in round two, whenever that is. Back to you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get into prognostications about a game one that nobody knows is going to occur. I mean, it could be a week and a half at this rate. So yes. we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. When you think about, of course, they're waiting on the – Boston Celtics, Atlanta Hawks series, and Atlanta looked really good yesterday looking to extend that tomorrow. Meanwhile, here in Miami, it's a 28-8 run in favor of the Miami Heat. They lead at 43-29. Middleton spins the lane, shoots a little 10-footer. That rims out. There's something wrong with the rim to the left. Milwaukee can't get one to go. They're down to 41%. Yeah, that's the visitor's rim. The whole rim has been great. <laughs> but the visitor's rim was great for the Miami Heat when they were in Milwaukee. Throughout that stretch, the first two games of this playoff series, the Miami Heat were 31 of 61 from the three-point arc. And to start this game here today, 8 for 14, 57%. So somehow or another, since we saw them last Friday, well, two Fridays ago, the Miami Heat have found their shooting touch, and they have used it to their advantage throughout these first three games. They tried to feed Butler at the rim. Butler got airborne and threw Holiday put Butler on his butt. So you can't assume the shot attempt. It's off the sideline here on the holiday foul. Love picked up his dribble top of the arc. Sends it left to Lowry. Lowry turns the corner, drives into contact, and he's fouled by Bobby Portis. This should be a pair of free throws, and it is. There's 6.50 to go here in the uh, first half. The eighth seed is given the top seed all they want here in game three. It's only the third, or skip beg your pardon, the fourth time Miami's been an eighth seed. The last time, 1996. I remember it well. You were playing. I hope so. It was my rookie year. (laughs) The only time I ever played in the playoffs was 1996. I thought I would play in the playoffs every year after that because, of course, when it happens when you're a rookie. Right. Yeah, but never again. So uh, take advantage of these opportunities, young people. uh, Unless you're Jay Crowder. Oh, yeah. Ten straight. Postseason appearances, mm-hmm. including two appearances in the NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. Free throws are down. This is the new largest lead of the game, 45-29. Browder ran earlier in this game. He's back on the bench. Middleton wants to dribble to the top of the floor. Simpson was left. Holiday dribbles behind his back. It's the broken line. Squares up. Shoots. Foul. Yeah, Love tried to reach out and block the shot and just caught him. I'm not sure if they got Love for that one, if that's going to be Oladipo. Partner, you got it right. It's Oladipo. Yeah, because Kevin Love got a clean block. And so, of course, if I'm Kevin Love, I'm going crazy over that one. That was a clean block. And he's not known to be a shot blocker. So, therefore, and that had to be on Victor Oladipo, who kind of kept two holiday on the ground. I just saw the official hold up the number four, it's and I thought up. it was the start of Kevin Love's 42. <laughs> Little did I know that it was only going to be the number four, which is Victor like, Oladipo. Well, Holiday just missed the free throw. I say that incredulously because he's one of the best. Well, I mean, again, Drew Holiday got started off four for four from the field and hasn't made a field goal since. And of course, missing that first free throw, not something you see often, but sees that one go through. So 11 now for Holiday. The first 10 of which came in the first half of the first quarter. 45-30. Lowry for three straight away. Well, everybody's hitting threes now in a white uniform. White hot night. And the Heat have been just that here getting to their first playoff game on the home floor. Middleton spins, drives to the left. We got another goal. They swing it out to Ingles. Angle right three is an answer right back for Joe Ingles. 48-33. I will not forget what league I am working in tonight. There will be a run by Milwaukee. Oh, absolutely. This is the NBA. Everyone makes a run. Butler picks it up, baseline right, shoots, missed it, rebound weak side off of Lowry. It's Milwaukee's ball. The 15-point lead right now for the Heat means absolutely nothing. Eric Sposa knows that. His team knows that, especially with the firepower that this Milwaukee Bucks team has. We mentioned in our open they made 25 three-point field goals in game two. They know they're very capable of getting hot at any moment. Angles catches between the circles, drives right on the port of screen, sends a deep right wing to Allen, drives the baseline, change sides of the floor. From Middleton to Portis, who buries the three and nods at the Miami bench. 
off the left angle. And there's another one just like that, a 12-point game. Now the Bucks trying to put together a couple of stops in the row. On the 36, Love almost slipped on the catch wing right. Beats Butler, who's isolated right of the lane, and, oh, I believe we got a warning. Well, Giannis is the one yeah. up. <laughs> the only one up. Yeah, Giannis is the one up having a conversation with, it seems to be Eric Lewis. Sideline warning issued on Milwaukee. Oh, Miami a little upset. They were working on a good possession with Butler isolated on the right side of the lane. Now Butler gets it right back in front of the Milwaukee bench. Holiday right up into his jersey. Butler, underhand pass up top. Pitch going to be both for three. Nope. Rebounded by Bobby Portis. And here's your chance, Milwaukee. Middleton drives to the right wing. Florida off the glass is good. Knocked it down in Miami. And head coach Eric Spolstra is sensing the same thing, that the door is open here for the Bucks who cut it to 10 after trailing by 18 here in the half. Let's take a break as both teams huddle up. We just got underneath the five-minute mark, 4.59 on the second quarter clock. Miami 48, Milwaukee 38. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Shopify presents Cool Sheets from AHA to... I suffered from the wrong kind of hot in bed, heat-induced insomnia. That was my aha moment. Bed sheets that keep you cool. Then I thought, how do I even sell bed sheets? That's when I had the idea that made it all possible. Signing up on Shopify. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Sign up for a free trial at Shopify.com slash special offer twenty-two. Shopify.com slash special offer twenty-two. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy, and this is why I switched to Shopify. I tried three other platforms prior to Shopify, and I remember my breaking point was when I would try to make one little change and my entire site would go down. Shopify made it really easy for me to shift everything over and hit the ground running. I was easily able to migrate my products and all of my customer information over. With the drag and drop theme editor, we don't need to hire a developer to do any coding. What's amazing is that each theme is automatically optimized on mobile. It's incredible. It looks even better on the phone. We really like adventure we would not be able to go on the road without a platform that we can rely on. What are you waiting for? Start your free trial with Shopify today. From templates that make site design simple to customizations that let you grow at your pace, this is your possibility powered by Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash play. That's shopify.com slash play. Go to shopify.com slash play to take your business to the next level today. The UK's best-selling pre-workout just crashed your UFC Fight Week party. Introducing All Black Everything at the Vitamin Shop. This muscle-building fat burner comes in drinks with flavors like grape soda and fruit candy, or powders in Ultimate Red Hawaiian, Ultimate Tropical Vibes, and All Batty Everything. An exclusive collab with UFC lightweight Patty the Batty Pimblat. What's happening, people? All Batty Everything in Batty Betty flavor. It's a belter. So, try All Black Everything or All Batty Everything at vitaminshop.com or any of the Vitamin Shop store today. Kevin Winter with you inside our Granger Studios again. Earlier today, the Sixers sweep the Brooklyn Nets. Phoenix with a 112-100 win over the Clippers. They go up 3-1, game five back in the Valley on Tuesday night. No Paul George, no Kawhi Leonard. Coming up on the auto zone, halftime report. We'll look ahead at the fourth and final game of the day. It'll be Memphis and the Los Angeles Lakers in Crypto.com Arena. Only took the bull gang there about two hours to switch over the courts from the Clippers to the Lakers. We'll hopefully have the latest on John Morant, whether or not he goes. I can tell you, Sean and Corey, as soon as it comes down, we'll let you know. LeBron James, first ever home game for the Lakers in L.A. Remember, only other time he played was in the bubble. Back to you guys. Good point. Thank you, Kevin. 4.59 to go here in the second quarter. It's now a 10-point game thanks to an 8-0 run by Milwaukee. 48-38. Uh, bombs away at times here in the first half. What, how, how are you trying to pick apart what you're seeing in quarters one and two? Well, we've seen the 8 0 run by the, by the Milwaukee Bucks, but they're using the three pointer back to back threes. And then Chris Middleton's able to get to the mid range to get the runner, not floater, off the glass and finish that one up. And so now you found Milwaukee finding a way on the offensive end of the floor, but they've been able to put together some stops to get that run down. Yeah, I, I didn't get that one wrong. You're right. <laughs> it's on the far side of the lane. It was a long ways away. I'll give you credit. <laughs> John Kelly, Corey Alexander, the NBA on ESPN Radio. 
Miami ball to the timeout. Lowry for three going left. Good. That, there it is. The three-point shot in this series right now is beast supremo, as my son would say. Okay, I like it. And now Miami 10 of 17 from beyond the arc. Oh, and by the way, Holiday just spun through a double team, split them, and scored at the cup. But we've seen him be aggressive from the start of this game. He recognized the responsibility he has with no Giannis on the floor. Collision in the lane. Lowry and Bam were coming at Milwaukee here off the left angle. The bounce pass to lead Bam into the color. Draws the collision here with Bobby Portis. And now Portis has three fouls with still 4.16 to go in the second quarter. Brooke Lopez about to check back in for Portis. With Brooke Lopez, who was dominant in game two, 12 of 17 from the field. Hasn't had the same type of impact, especially with his points in the paint here. Got off to a great start, but hasn't had that consistency throughout this one. First free throw is good. Miami's 8 of 10 at the line. They lead by a dozen, 52 to 40. So Lopez joins Holiday, Middleton, Ingles, and Connaughton on the floor for the Bucks. Lowry, Martin, Adebayo, Robinson, and Butler for Miami. And give Eric Spolster credit. He moved to put Kevin Love in the starting lineup, kind of neutralized Brooke Lopez. And my guy, Sean Kelly, called that on the way in. You said, what do you think about starting Kevin Love today? I said, I'm not sure if it'll happen. But Eric Spolster was, and it worked out through the benefits for a great start. Here's Lopez catching elbow right, hands it to Ingles, try to feed the rim and draws contact. And the foul here will stop play at 4.03 to go in the first half. One of us remember that Kevin Love, by the way, you said charges taken. Yeah, 17 earlier this year with three of them. Yes. Yeah, out of in, lim- in limited yeah. minutes. You know, comes along here after the buyout. So did not even join Miami until February the 20th. Off the foul, it's Lopez, angle left for three. Off the front iron, no good. Miles got the rebound. Up the floor to Lowry. Steve Butler coming along the baseline. He's deep left wing. Walks the dribble outside the three-point arc. Drives on Lopez, turns him to the cup. Looks it up, off the glass and in. A little double pumper to kiss it off the window and put two on the board. It is a smart play by Jimmy. He caught it in the post against Lopez, but walked him out, faced him up, and then took him off the bounce. Holiday splits two again, drives for the goal, throws the wing right for Ingles. Ingles tied up by Martin pretty quick. Releases out to Middleton, front court right, eight to shoot. Martin switches defensively on Middleton. Middleton picks it up, he's got to do something with it. Gets it back from Lopez, fires for three, spinning away from the sideline or toward it. And beat the shot clock buzzer. Yeah, that was good defense. It's great offense for Chris Middleton. Middleton in the double figures. Lowry got his man on his back. Count the bucket. He throws at the left low post and put angles on him like a backpack. And buries it for a possible three-point play. The true, crafty, smart, small point guard is starting to become a thing of the past. However, Kyle Lowry, Chris Paul, there still are a couple hanging around in the NBA, and they continue to make plays that only they can make. Just craftiness by Kyle Lowry to not only get that basket, but draw the foul on Joe Ingles, an opportunity for the three-point play. You just reminded me of the legend, the Jedi Master, Hugh oh, Brown. Oh, yeah. And you said, however. However. 3.08 to go, first half. And any time I could ever remind you of Hugh Brown, as a compliment to me, my friend. That's what I was trying to do. Thank you, much. Free throws good for Lowry. Lead up to 15 again now for the Heat. 58-43. Holiday to the left elbow. To the nail. Rises. Couldn't get the jumper to fall. But that rim on the left end is a problem. Well, let's see in the second half once Miami got to go that way. Lowry spins. Gets in the paint. No look. The Butler blocked a block out of bio. Stolen by Middleton. Middleton up the center of the floor. Chris, Euros to the rim, lost the handle, saves it, outside, wing right, Connaughton buries the three. Isn't that the way they drop the fast break in practice? Go down one on four, lose the basketball, and then find a teammate for three? That's got to be the way that Bud drew it up. Oh, yeah, and of course, you know, he's a Popovich guy, so that's where it came from, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. 58-46. Out to Butler, Butler works in the lane, shoves it up and in. 
stop popped it up there from the broken line to make it 60 to 46. Emmy Butler is in a great rhythm offensively, and right now leading the Miami Heat. 21 points, 17 came in the first. Holiday gets deep left side of the rim and scores with three Miami defenders in the vicinity. That's only strength. The strength is the only reason that Drew Holiday can make plays as such. 15 now for Drew Holiday. He leads Milwaukee in scoring. 150 to go in the half. Lowry steps off the left wing, shoots, flanked it. It's not a good look. Lowry's a little old looking going to the other end. He's got that gimpy knee right now. Middleton off the screen by Lopez. Launches his three from up top and ripped it. But the mistake there going under the screen. You can never go under the screen, especially with a guy like Chris Middleton. Have to follow over the top, push him off that three-point line. These two teams now have split 20 made three-pointers in the first half. 115 to go in the period. Lead down to nine for Miami. Butler down the left slide. And the holiday lost the handle. How did Holiday not foul? He also took one in the throat. Yeah, I think that's the reason why he didn't foul, yeah. because he took the punishment on that one. Holiday catches, last man down the floor. Drives Butler into the paint. Muscled him to the restricted area, throws it out. They swing it. Crowder drives, runs it up. Too strong off the back iron. No, it was a floater. That's why I missed it. You know, I've never <laughs> met someone who hates floaters more than you. Three, Martin buried it. 63-51. Big bucket there by Caleb Martin. You can see the Milwaukee Bucks starting to build some momentum here to end this half. Caleb Martin stepping up and knocking on a big three to take some of that momentum away. Yeah, and that quick trigger will give Miami a chance of the ball here before the break. That was the turnover, Middleton, on the right front court to the top of the yard. Reach in foul by Jimmy Butler, and that's not a bad foul to give here. It'll put it on the right sideline for the Milwaukee Bucks. It'll allow two Heat subs to come in as well in Kevin Love and Gabe Vincent. Replacing out of Bio and Struess. And there's Spolster not done yet. He wants Oladipo also here on the floor for the last about a half a minute. Grayson Allen has returned from Milwaukee. Who has 14 on the shot clock? Middleton will inbound, front court right, does some Lopez, top of the arc, dribble hand off to Connaughton, turns down the lane, lays it up, got it. Quick two there by the Bucks. So 20 to shoot, 24 to play in the half. Vincent, front court right, guarded by Allen. Crossover dribble, rolling. Underneath is Butler. From under the goal, out to Love, wing left three, bottom. 66-53, Miami. And Love here in this start has a pair of three-pointers down for six points. Four, three, Middleton the lane. Shoots off balance, no good. Rebound Love. The half comes to a close. Miami who trailed by seven back in the first. Holiday was hot early with 10. He was the first into double figures. Seemingly since then, all Miami who takes... A 13-point lead into the halftime locker room. Miami's three-point shooting has been off the charts in this first half, and it has allowed them to be able to build a 13-point lead. But they've been able to do the job defensively as well, something that the Bucks have not been able to do. Higher scoring second quarter, 37-32 advantage in the second frame. And it was Jimmy Butler in the first and his teammates in the second. Butler leads them all, though, with 21 points. Game three, all tied at 1-1, Milwaukee. Trying to get back into this thing here, hopefully when they come out of the locker room in the third. At the break, Heat 66, Bucks 53. Let's send it to Kevin Winter in the studio with the AutoZone Halftime Report. John and Corey, the free AutoZone Fix Finder service can help troubleshoot the likely cause of your pesky check engine light for free, and it can get you back on the road. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone. AutoZone, Corey mentioned the three-point shooting, 12 of 19, 12 three-point field goals, most made field goals from distance in any half in playoff history for the Miami Heat. Up next on the Otis and Halftime Report, we look ahead to the fourth and final game of this Saturday, Lakers and the Grizzlies. That's next. This is the NBA Playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. At the UPS Store, we have everything to help small business owners be unstoppable. So if you need shredding, we'll be the shredding store. Shredding? So you're saying you can make things disappear. 
Okay, but really, yeah, my Magician's Academy has a lot of paperwork I need shredded. The UPS store can help small business owners be unstoppable with our shredding services. We'll help protect and manage your sensitive documents until they're properly disposed. The UPS store, be unstoppable. Shredding services are provided by Iron Mountain Information Management, LLC. The UPS store locations are independently owned. Visit the upsstore.com slash shredding for full details. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. I gotta try that for Bree's car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. Yeah, la 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 la. With up to 40 days of consistency, all over Bree's car clips right on your face. You know my car is my happy place. Keep a smile on my face when it smells just right, just right, just right. Yeah, breathe happy for Bree's. La 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 la. Phoenix, we're overstocked on Camelback Road. It's time for the Overstock Inventory Blowout Sale this weekend only. 10 dealerships, 1,000 pre-owned cars and trucks from under $10,000. Now through Sunday, got a trade? Drive it in and get $3,000 minimum for it. The Overstock Inventory Blowout Sale on Camelback Road, just west of 16th Street. Look for the big tents and visit camelbacktentsale.com. Price tax tax title 599 dot fee. Five or more Based on Kelly Google trading value, fair condition of 10,000 miles per year. Deduction 15 cents per excess mile. Deductions will apply for damage. Reconditioning excessive wear and tear and above average mileage. Offer expires 423-2023. Jake from State Farm here to answer your what ifs. What if I need a policy, but I just can't choose? An agent can help you choose. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio. And on the ESPN app. And we're brought to you by the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. Kevin Orange with you here inside our Granger Studios on the AutoZone Halftime Report at the break. The Miami Heat, thanks to a 19-0 run in the second quarter from the first to the second, they lead 66-53. Earlier today, that'll do it. Final score, Suns win, 112-100. They knock off the Clippers and take a three games to one series lead in this best of seven first round set against Los Angeles. They come out of L.A. winning both games on the road. This one more convincingly than the last. Arizona Sports, 98.7 FM. They win both on the road without. Jeff Van Gundy during these playoffs, you know, now we're seeing it with the players and I, I, I really don't see LeBron falling for it. He knows it's got to go through Anthony Davis and Anthony Davis has got to be his fully engaged tag team partner for the Lakers to win this series. And I, I just don't see LeBron taking the bait. ESPN's Michael Wilbon, Lakers and Grizzlies back after the ESPN television doubleheader Lakers, five and a half point home favorites. We are still waiting on a word from John Moran. Coming up next on the Autos on Half Time Report, we get set for the second half. Miami by 13 over Milwaukee in game three. This is the NBA playoffs on ESPN Radio. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, this is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That non-stop, claw your way to the top, give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? 
Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. Avalon Waterways has redefined cruising by sailing away from the ordinary. Get ready for smaller ships, greater discoveries, fewer people, and more of everything. An elevated cruising experience and limited time special offers await at AvalonWaterways.com. August 1st, Little Baby presents It's Only Us Tour. Made it out the treasure this time. At Footprint Center. Get ready for an epic summer. Little Baby's IOU Tour has finally touched down. It's Lil Baby live in concert featuring the Kid Lobo, Rilo, 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 Rod Treatment, and Honcho. I'm the 30 made the funnest. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Brought to you by Mammoth Lot and AG Touring. A traditional 15th anniversary gift is Crystal. So for Tommy John's 15th year, they're making it crystal clear that you deserve to be unbelievably comfortable every day. When you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Because Tommy John underwear moves with you thanks to breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. And with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, people love their Tommy John underwear. That's why Tommy John doesn't just have customers, they have fanatics who say Tommy John has the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. Plus, there's no risk because everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Get 25% off site-wide now through April 27th at TommyJohn.com slash stream. 25% off site-wide right now at TommyJohn.com slash stream. See site for details. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Bio into the paint, digging in was Holiday, knocked it loose. Bam picks it up, scoops it out to Butler, wing left for three. Oh, boom! Butler's got himself a heck of a quarter now. 17 in the opening period. Lowry beats Butler coming along the baseline. He's deep left wing. Walks the dribble outside the three point arc, drives on Lopez, turns into the cup, looks it up off the glass and in a little double pumper. To kiss it off the window and put two on the board. Butler's got 21 points. Miami lead 66-53 over the Milwaukee Bucks. They once led by as many as 18. That's our first half recap brought to you by the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5hourenergy.com. Second half is next. Can the 8 seed go up 2-1 on the 1 seed? Find out. This is the NBA Playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Sarah wants a yard. My own little paradise. Brad, however, hates yard work. The only thing I hate more than cutting the grass is paying someone to cut the grass. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they could save even more. In the end, Sarah and Brad found a great home with a yard. A very, very small yard. Time to get it done. And I'm done. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. The UK's best-selling pre-workout just crashed your UFC Fight Week party. Introducing All Black Everything at the Vitamin Shop. This muscle-building fat burner comes in drinks with flavors like grape soda and fruit candy, or powders in Ultimate Red Hawaiian, Ultimate Tropical Vibes, and All Batty Everything. An exclusive collab with UFC lightweight Patty the Batty Pimblat. What's happening, people? All Batty Everything in Batty Betty flavor. It's a belter. So, try All Black Everything or All Batty Everything at vitaminshop.com. Or any of the vitamin shop store today. Feel that fever in my blood. SEC softball heats up the diamond as the 14th ranked Gators challenge the fourth ranked Lady Balls. Gonna show them what I'm made of. 
Mancia. Two run home run for Pal Egan. The Gators coming alive. Oh, a mammoth blast from Kiki Malloy. 14th ranked Florida, 4th ranked Tennessee, Sunday at 7 Eastern on SEC Network and streaming live on the ESPN app. Presented by T-Mobile 5G Home Internet. <sighs> this week on Sunday Night Baseball. Deep left field, Pete Alonso goes yard into the bullpen. The New York Mets finish up the last leg of a seven-game West Coast road trip. When they go head-to-head with Brandon Crawford and the San Francisco Giants. Brandon Crawford! Brandon Crawford a home run. The New York Mets at the San Francisco Giants. Coverage begins tomorrow at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN. You can also listen on the ESPN app and on your smart speaker. Tomorrow on ESPN Radio. Down 2-0 and without Draymond Green, the Warriors win a critical game three at home. For three on it, play it in for Steph. Can they tie the series up at two games each? Or will it be the Kings who respond? They're the NBA champions. This is what the playoffs are about. Game four, the Warriors and Kings, presented by Indeed. Coverage begins tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ABC. You can also listen on the ESPN app and on Sirius XM Channel 80. It's Greeny, and it's one of the biggest weekends of the year. NBA playoffs in full swing, and we're headed towards the week of the NFL draft. We'll have it all covered for you Monday morning. It's Greeny, starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Jason Fitz and Harry Douglas are Fitz and Harry. Deshaun Watson, at the moment, it's looking like it was an outlier, right? The the, the Haslam family, they were they were itching for a quarterback. They gave him two hundred thirty million dollars guaranteed. So if you're looking at it from Lamar's perspective, if, if you're Lamar, I think at some point, and no one else gets guaranteed money, you're gonna have to look at that and say, okay, maybe I did misjudge what the market may be for the quarterback position. Fitz and Harry, weekdays at noon Eastern on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. And that'll do it for us on the AutoZone Halftime Report. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the NBA playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app presented by Indeed. in South Florida. That's why I don't gamble, Kevin Winter, that's for sure. I mean, it's been an impressive first two quarters by the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler carried the load in the first quarter. He had 17. He ends up with a game-high 21 through the first half of play. Three-pointers raining down here in uh, South Florida. Both teams fired it up in the second quarter, but at the end of the first half, it's 12 made threes for Miami. That's the most threes they've ever hit in any half of their postseason history. That's just scratching the surface of what we have right now at 66-53. There are so many things to uncover, but if you go back a week and a half and you and I were here talking about after the loss to the Atlanta Hawks in the home four for the 7-8 play-in game, we talked about how it was very unheat like Well, right now what we've seen is a lot of heat-like things, and the reason is because they've got so many guys stepping up, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Vic Oladipo coming in off the bench, Caleb Martin as well. These guys are hitting threes, but they're doing the job defensively as well to go along with Jimmy Butler, who is Mr. Heat right now and who has gotten off to a great first half. But this has been a very Heat-like performance from the Miami Heat, although the three-point shooting is not something we've seen from them often. Are we all overlooking the fact that it was this time last year that Miami was the number one seed and now they're the eight and they're only really missing one guy out of that group, P.J. Tucker? I believe that we are, and a lot of that also has to do with the fact that this Miami team has not been healthy. Remember, they're doing this without Tyler Hero, a 20-point-per-game score. So they haven't been healthy all year, but it seems to be right now this was the matchup that the Heat wanted in the first round. As far as making up for Hero, it's Lowry and Robinson combining right now for 11 made field goals. I mean, excuse me, beg your pardon, five made threes, six made field goals for 20 combined points. Milwaukee ball shooting at the end of our right to start the third. Middleton rises for two and buried a jumper over Vincent. Very impressive. Middleton with 
Almost turned it over a half dozen times in the first half. Has the first bucket here in the third. Dave Vincent at the top of the arc, and we got a player down. It's a good spam out of bio of all people who got tangled up with Bobby Portis. If that fouls on Portis since his fourth, and it is. And it comes 30 seconds into the third quarter. No Giannis tonight if you're just getting into the action here. Second game in a row. But that didn't seem to face Milwaukee in game two. A little different story here in game three. Butler drives the free throw line, and there's an offensive foul. There's an illegal screen whistled against Bam out of bio trying to give Butler some room to work. And the Heat turn it right back over. So we're kind of stumbling out of the gate here. A bit in the third quarter, except for the Middleton. Holiday picks up his dribble. He'll zero assists in the ball game. Lob deep left wing. Tipped by Vincent. Saved from going out of bounds by Vincent Donabayo. Up the floor to Butler along the left side. Chest pass across to Love, who got the strike tonight. Hands it off to Struess. Struess off the screen, drives, going to the rack, lays it up and in. Changed hands mid-flight and finished with the left. Max Struess, of course, we know him being a three-point shooter. Does a great job turning the corner there, getting downhill, and keeping that pressure on the Milwaukee defense. Feed Lopez inside. They doubled and tipped it away. Knocked away by Struess. Butler has the loose ball on the ninth Milwaukee turnover. Butler to the left side, mid-post, back to the goal, guarded by Holiday. Pitch and catch with Love. Butler now outside the three-point line. Turns the corner. Goes into the paint. Climbs. Holiday. Ball got knocked loose. Middleton. A hand on the break to Allen, who dunks with the right hand. He took a shove in the back with no whistle. Nice pass by Chris Middleton. The gig race now is streaking to the rim to make up for the turnover on the last one, which was a bad decision. Off the high screen. Vincent in the lane. Runs it up and in. Dave Vincent straight down the pipe with it. It's 70 to 57 Miami. Nice recognition there by Vincent, seeing that Brooke Lopez is going back to take away the lob, has an easy bucket. Holiday trying to work off a quarter screen, gets into the right side of the lane, stops on a two foot jump shot, trying to force it inside, tip stolen. Miami ahead. Great pass to Spruce on the break, lays it up and in. Is that Kevin Love on the. The big long pass down the floor, I think it was. Kevin Love made a career out of the great outlet pass, one of the best outlet passes the game has seen, reminding people of the late, great Wes Unsell back in the day. Indeed, they give him his first assist on the night. 9.30 to go in the third. Holiday turns down the left side of the lane, kicks the corner left. Allen for three. Ripped it. 72-60. to 60. And Milwaukee's been able to find a rhythm on the offensive end of the floor, but defensively they've had no answer for the Miami Heat, which is not something that any of us would have looked to see happen at the beginning of this series. Butler holding left wing. Both teams shooting 52%. Butler bumps, drives, pump fake twice, rises baseline left and hits a baby jumper. 23 for Jay Butler. 74 to 60. Allen comes out to grab the top of the arc, works down the right slot, sends it to Portis. Swing right for a long two. Off the back iron, no good. Love gathers the rebound at the free throw line. 26-18 advantage on the glass now for the Miami Heat. Vincent around the angle screen, through the center of the lane, wraparound pass for Adebayo, stolen by Portis, and then he's tripped. Foul on Bam Adebayo, stops played 835 in the third. It's going to be four now on out of bio. Eric Spolsky was very animated on that possession coming down offensively. There was something that he wanted from the Miami Heat. I'm not sure what it was, but he didn't get it right now, just standing with his hands on his hips, looking out on the floor at his team, but disgusted over the fact that they turned that possession ended up being a foul of Bam out of bio that brings him over to the bench. Donaldson returns to the game. Vincent poked it loose from Middleton sideline left, and then Middleton grabbed it back. Foul called on Gabe Vincent. Both teams have gone nine players deep, so four guys off each bench here at the 825 mark in the quarter. We're in the third. 14 point lead for Miami. Milwaukee inbounds all the way across to the near side of the floor. Holiday on the dribble. Chest pass to Allen coming from down below. Turns, fires, misses from three. Connaughton tip rebound to himself between the rings. Back to Holiday. Up top for three. Ball go. A little strong and a big high rebound for Caleb Martin. Martin will bring it up himself. Crossover dribble. Euros in the lane. Hits the baseline cutting. Butler catching a reverse layup is good. Going left to right. 
One of the things that makes Miami dangerous, especially with Caleb Martin on the floor at the four position, they've got a lot of guys that can handle it and make plays. Into the paint, pushes it up and in. His ability to freeze on a dime and put it in the air, I mean, it's so quick. And I think people underestimate the size of Drew Holiday. They don't realize he's not a small guard. We call him big guard, and more importantly, he's a strong guard. Henson picks it up. Stiff pass caught deep left wing by Martin in front of his own bench. Bounce pass to Butler, guarded by Holiday. Out to Love, shot fake, rumbles to the rim. Kicks him under the goal, the right wing. Swoops, buries the three-pointer off the catch. A nice find from Kevin Love going off the bounce, realizing he has the advantage. Holiday blocked to the rim by Love. Loose ball for Martin. Ahead to Vincent, along the screw, sideline left. Three-point shot tipped, grabbed by Butler, feed the interior and a foul. As Martin was looking to bounce it up and in. And popped by Brooke Lopez here on the play. And what will not be discussed is the winning play. As Gabe Benson goes over to dap up Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, who pretty much tackled Drew Holiday on this other end of the floor, sprints down, gets the offensive rebound off of a Gabe Benson air ball, and throws it back into Martin, who gives him an opportunity to get fouled and get to this free throw line. But Jimmy Butler doing everything that won't show up in the stat sheet, but will show up in the film session tomorrow with Eric Spolster showing winning plays. First free throw good for the pride of Knoxville, North Carolina. Hey. Shout out. We're not going we're not gonna talk about the Oak Hill. We just gonna leave it at Knoxville. He's got another free throw. Oh, okay. Gabe, there you go. I'll give you time to get that in. And from the mouth of Wilson, Virginia, there Oak Hill Academy. There Second we go. Free throws down, and it gives Miami its new largest lead of the game. And a timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. 701 to go in the third quarter. Miami, it's on its way here to grabbing home floor advantage of the series after stealing one in Milwaukee and backing it up with this performance so far tonight. 81-62. Miami leads to the top seed of Bucks, and you're listening to the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. What did you wake up to today? Was it a medieval castle, an ancient cathedral, or a charming cobblestone village? With a bed that faces the passing scenery, Avalon gives cruisers a front row seat to the views of the world with immediate access to a new port every day. Open your eyes to a different kind of cruising, one with smaller ships, bigger experiences, fewer people, and more of everything. Limited time special offers await at avalonwaterways.com. Shopify presents cool sheets from aha to lying awake while you bake isn't cool. I suffered from the wrong kind of hot in bed, heat-induced insomnia. That was my aha moment. Bed sheets that keep you cool. Then I thought, how do I even sell bed sheets? That's when I had the idea that made it all possible. Signing up on Shopify. With the help of Shopify's intuitive online store creator, I started selling sustainable bamboo sheets that keep cool year-round. And my cool idea became a reality. Hot sleepers around the world rejoice. Shopify makes it simple to keep your cool while starting and growing your business. Start selling with Shopify today and join the commerce platform powering millions of businesses worldwide. From aha to anything is possible. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Start selling online today. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash play. Shopify.com slash play. The UK's best-selling pre-workout just crashed your UFC Fight Week party. Introducing All Black Everything at the Vitamin Shop. This muscle-building fat burner comes in drinks with flavors like grape soda and fruit candy, or powders in Ultimate Red Hawaiian, Ultimate Tropical Vibes, and All Batty Everything. An exclusive collab with UFC lightweight Patty the Batty Pimblat. What's happening, people? All Batty Everything in Batty Betty flavor. It's a belter. So, try All Black Everything or All Batty Everything at vitaminshop.com or any of the vitamin shop store today. Kevin Winter with you inside our Granger Studios. Breaking news out of Los Angeles. The Memphis Grizzlies say not only is John Morant active, but he will play in tonight's pivotal game three. ESPN's Michael Wilbon. I don't think that Memphis can represent the West or even get past the next round. Maybe not even get past the Lakers without John Morant being what? 
80% of himself. Remember, John Morant got hurt in game one, missed game two. Grizzlies had an impressive win in game two. Grizzlies in the Lakers series is tied at one. They will tip on ESPN television as soon as we are done in Miami. Our series is tied at one. And Miami's kicking the you-know-what out of Milwaukee by now. 19-point lead. Sean Kelly, Corey Alexander, back to you in South Florida. Hey, Miami's doing everything Miami does. And I'm talking about their long story history, especially under Eric Spolstra. Meanwhile, you and I were at game one in Memphis Lakers and Grizzlies series when John Morant went out. It was a 23-11 to run for the Lakers to go on and win that game. So significant news tonight. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate that. Absolutely is that. And I agree with Michael Wilbon. Without John, I don't think that the Grizzlies have a chance of beating the Lakers or making a run at all in the West. But I'm not sure if they have a chance of beating them with John. That's how that's how, how much respect I have for what the Lakers have done over the second part of the season. Semi-hot take from my partner, Corey Alexander. Another Milwaukee turnover. Love tipped it loose. Love's going to catch corner left. Three ball. No good. Side iron. May have been just tipped a little bit by Lopez, who hustled down the floor. Here's Holiday. Holiday gets under the rim. Lost the handle. Scramble to the deck for it. Ball loose. Butler's out of there with it. Butler brings it across. 12 Miami turnovers now. Out to Butler on a little pass from Struess, who's trying to get inside the paint. Butler still holding left of the top of the arc. Got it by Holiday. Goes around the love screen. Down the right slot. Shoots no good. There was a little bump from Holiday, incidental. To the other end of Tingles on the catch. Beats Holiday, top of the arc. Pump fake. Pitches to his left. Connaughton for three. Bombs away. Jack Conton knocked down six threes in that game two victory for the Bucks and stepping up, making a big one there, but still a long way to get back into this one for the Bucks, trailing by 16. 81 65, Vincent lops to the rim, leaping to catch Butler, had to go down, goes back up, came down hard, and he's hurt. Came on his hip, power play at the other end for the Bucks. Conton, wide open, wing right three, missed it. Rebounded by Martin, and a foul. They're going to get that foul on Caleb Martin as Ingles walks away. Well, you can hear the reaction from a sold-out crowd here at the center. Butler is back up and re-engaged here at the offense or the defensive end to our right. And you know what's so interesting? Eric Spolson never even thought twice about taking Jimmy Butler out of the game, <laughs> even though he doesn't make it down the floor. Takes a hard fall. I thought about reviewing that play right there because Ingles got hit up in the face area. Middleton, sideline left, rip through move. Works downhill and runs over Gabe Vincent. Charge called on Middleton. And Gabe Vincent, who made four three-pointers in each of the first two games in this one, still has not made a, a give me one field goal in this one. But he's doing the job defensively. And regardless as to whether the offense is flowing or not for him, he's still playing Miami Heat basketball, getting it done on the defensive end of the floor. We're going to stop here for a review at 5.30 left in the third quarter. They're trying to get players organized here. We had guys all over the floor. And Eric Lewis announces the challenge here from Mike Budenholzer. Full timeout. We'll step aside while they take a look. 5.30 to go in the third. Miami 81, Milwaukee 65. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Bundling and saving with GEICO is an easy choice. So you're free to ponder life's big questions. Like, what's the best animal in the world if not humans? I'd strongly consider ducks to be somewhere up there on the list. Think about it. Ducks can swim, ducks can fly, and ducks can walk on land. They have access to all terrains. They are the ultimate animal. And they wiggle their butts when they walk, which is funny. Yeah, ducks are awesome. End of story. Bundling and saving with Geico. It's an easy choice. It's Greeny, and it's one of the biggest weekends of the year. NBA playoffs in full swing, and we're headed towards the week of the NFL draft. We'll have it all covered for you Monday morning. It's Greeny, starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. So, you've got an idea for a business. The store of your dreams. There's just one thing to figure out. Everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media. 
source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer 23. Learning to swim is fun. British Swim School is welcoming all new students to start their journey in the world of water. The team of highly trained experts at British Swim School will show your little fish all the ins and outs of life in the water, while also sharing valuable knowledge on water safety. So is it time for your kids to get their feet wet? Sign them up now at BritishSwimSchool.com. That's BritishSwimSchool.com. British Swim School. Make a splash. Kevin Orton with you inside of Granger Studios. Reminder, tomorrow afternoon, we have coverage of the Sacramento Kings Golden State Warriors game number four. It's in San Francisco at Chase Center. There's no place like home for the Warriors. Brought to you by Angie. With Angie, it's easier than ever to get home projects done well. Get started on the Angie app or go to Angie.com today. The Warriors, 33-8 and eight on their own home floor. There's also no place like home for any team that hosts the Warriors because they stink on the road. Tomorrow's at Chase Center as we go back to Miami. We're Sean and Corey. We have a successful challenge, I believe. You believe correctly, and you use the word stink, which we did not have that on the bingo card tonight. We'll take that, too. So Mike Budenholzer is good on his challenge. The call over turn it will be a blocking foul now on Gibson, or uh, Vincent, rather. And be- that means free throws for Chris Middleton as well. 81-65, Miami leads Milwaukee with 5.30 to go in the third quarter. Is that the mad scientist? That like would McDaniel? be him. Yes. Okay. Getting a large ovation here. A lot of big-time expectations on the Dolphins this season. Should be. NFL draft up coming, by the way. Coverage on ESPN Radio. Middleton missed the first free throw. By the way, the Miami Heat have won 38 straight playoff games when leading by 10 or more at halftime. They were up 13 when we started this third quarter. Middleton knocks it down to make it 81-66. I know it. I know it looks like what it sounds like on your radio. I just, I know Milwaukee too well now to give up on what this game could end up being in the fourth quarter. As Javon Carter's come in, lot for the rim. Butler couldn't get a shot away. Saves it going out of bounds to Martin. Drives the open space and went to the rim and flushed it with two hands. And Caleb Martin can be a handful when he gets downhill. We talked about his athleticism a number of times, and it's really been a guy that's. Found a home here in Miami. Started out with the Charlotte Hornets, where his brother Cody still is playing, but found a home here in Miami. Started over 40 games this season. It's a good home. Three-year, $20 million deal. Not bad at all. Middleton left wing. Working on Martin here. Here comes the double. Vincent trying to poke it out of there. Swing, swing to the right wing. Angles drives. Loping to the rim. He's put on a reverse lay-in right to left. You know, you asked me on Christmas Day, we had Milwaukee, what type of role Joe Ingles would have. Of course, he was just returning from injury. And this is why he's here, to be able to step up and give them moments, especially at playoff time. Butler up top for three. Line drive down for Butler. He's got 28 points. Speaking of playoff time, playoff Hemi has been here. And not just here, he's been involved for all three games for this series. Middleton drives baseline right, hangs in the air to put it in off the glass. 86-70. One thing Milwaukee can't do now, though, is start trading buckets. 4-14 to go in the third. Vincent around the high screen. Love pop the pass to the right to Butler. Butler holding at his left hip. Here comes Love. Sets the screen. Butler turns, goes down the lane. Double pumper in the air and lays it in. He went down hard, and he's limping to the other end. But now it's 30 for Butler. Angles, corner right three. Point it off the back rim. Pinball rebound finds Miami and Kayla Martin. So Butler with 30 to lead all scores. He led them in scoring 31 times during the regular season. Butler picks it up, angle right. Bounce pass to Love, wants it right back. Butler, top of the arc, the foul line. Spins, passes, Love off the catch. That line drive three is off the iron and out of bounds, corner right. And will allow subs to come in on both sides. It's like a hockey line change right now working it below us. Holiday returns for Milwaukee. Same for Portis, who comes back in with some foul trouble. Jimmy Butler limping over to the bench, but (laughs) 
it's amazing when you think about the difference in, you know, different organizations, different cultures, et cetera. They never even think twice about checking on him or anything. He just goes and sits down and was about to run back on the floor when they didn't have enough guys on the court because they know Jimmy's going to be okay and they don't want him getting checked out for someone to say there's something wrong with him. At what point do we put Jimmy Butler into Heat legend status? I think he's already there. I mean, when you think about the fact that he's been to an NBA Finals, he was in the Eastern Conference Finals a year ago, missed the three, of course, took a big time shot, which I, I love the shot that he took that he missed against Boston. If he makes that shot, it sends them to the finals once again. But, again, when you look at this Heat team and organization, he hasn't played with the same level of talent that many of the Heat greats have. Fair point. Angles for three up top. The lefty missed it. It's an 18-point lead for Miami, 88-70. to 3 to go on the third. Lowry on the bounce here to the foul line. Spins, shoots, and got the members roll. Kyle Lowry's had a productive evening so far as well. For the Miami Heat, good to see him back into a rhythm here. Didn't play as great over the first two games. Left wing three, Connaughton knocked it down. After Miami had gone up by 20, he lost Lowry on the play and rifled one home, 90-73. to 73. Offense has not been the problem for the Bucs. It's been solely about their defense. Straight away, triple attempt, no good. Rebounded by Connaughton. 2.34 to go. Holiday on the left sideline. Here comes the double. Goes out of it underneath the angles. Tried to throw it uphill and knocked away by Cody Zeller. On the break to the other end. Martin Wade for friends. Wing left. Drives across the lane. Wraparound pass. Tipped away and stolen. Milwaukee's got it. Each wraparound pass of the goal has been stolen by the other team so far tonight. Holiday in the lane. Goes out of the crowd. Touch it over to Carter. Wing left three. Missed it at the break. Portis puts it back up and in on second chance. And Eric Spolster is hot about the fact that the Bucs were able to get that second chance put back off of a great rotation by Miami to force the three-point field goal. Bobby Portis got it run right to the rim. Eric Spolster just letting out a bit of frustration after calling that timeout. Let's talk about what would be a manageable situation here for Milwaukee. You're 203 away from the fourth quarter. It was a 20-point lead. They've cut it to 15. Do you start having conversations like, hey, if we can get it under 10 at this point, what, what would that be? That would be the magic number to see if you can have the in single digits by the time you come into the bench for the quarter. But even beyond that, a 11-12 point lead is not insurmountable for a fourth quarter. But the thing is, you've got to find a way to start getting some stops. you got to find something that gets you into a defensive rhythm. Milwaukee's been out of that all night. When we look at Miami, we talk about the numbers that they put up throughout the series. With two minutes remaining in the third quarter, they already have 90 points. And again, this is a Heat team that oftentimes struggled to get to 100. And so one of the lowest scoring teams in the NBA, but they have been on you know, on a great playoff offensive rhythm. Yeah, Miami was 30th in scoring. We're all using points per game here, okay, as the, as the measuring stick. But yet... They were second in points allowed, and in fact, and we saw one of these 13 times during the regular season, they held an opponent below 100. We saw it in the play-in when they held Chicago to less than 100. Yeah, and again, they're doing the job right now defensively on these bucks and scoring at a high pace. Jimmy Butler just went to the Miami Heat locker room. 152 to go in the third, Lowry. Between the circles, comes away from the seller screen to the nail, shoots, and hits a leaning 15-footer. Lowry's got 15 now off the bench. A guy that may or may not have been ready to go tonight. He's been banged up. Back around the left side, Holiday throws it into the pocket. Catch for Portis inside who lays it in. Sneaky. And for Drew Holiday, that is just his second dime of the night. He had 27 total assists, games one and two combined. Oladipo circles the lane, turns, fires, and hits a 14-footer near the top of the paint. Pace is by big. Not taking a tough shot, but dribbling and making Bobby Forsen's foot a chamber. Holiday drives, goes off the bottom side of the lane, out to Connaughton for three. That skips off the rim, rebound, block left, Portis. Over to Carter, wing left for three. Nope, that's off the rim and rebounded by Zeller. 94-77 Miami. Will Depot catches the bounce pass, lost the handle briefly at the foul line extended, resets to Lowry to the center jump circle. 
45 seconds remaining in the quarter. Off the high little screen, Lowry to the left elbow, now retreats a couple of steps and has Portis on his defensive lift. One high four along the baseline. Lowry drives into the mid post left side of the lane and is fouled as he picked it up. I think that's going to be five on Portis, correct? Yeah, and I think Lowry's in the gather, so it's two free throws as well. And Portis has got to come off the floor, partner. You're exactly right. That means Grayson Allen will sub in. He's a smaller guy for Bobby Portis. And, of course, Miami's been taking advantage of everything in the painted area throughout this game. So without Portis, and Brooke Lopez hasn't had the same type of effect in this game either. Bug going small ball right now. Joe Ingles and Chris Middleton, the two tallest guys on the floor for the Milwaukee Bucks. Rodney Mott initially indicated two free throws, and now they've changed their mind, they being the officiating crew. I'm not sure why they changed their mind on that one. I mean, they're, Kyle Lowry was absolutely shooting that basketball outside of the fact that Bobby Portis was holding on to his right arm. And Eric Spolster asking the same questions as you just did. Bounce pass off the near sideline into Zeller, hands it off to Lowry. Lowry over the top of the arc, it's the weak side cutting Martin. The ball fumbled, and then Martin made contact with the near baseline. And turns it over to Milwaukee. 32.6 seconds remaining in the quarter. See Miami picking up full court. Not allowing Drew Holiday to get ahead of steam here. To give it to Ingles, who rumbles down the right side of the floor. Sidearm pass to Middleton. Trent shoots, knocks down a free throw line jump. Very quick possession for the Bucks. Might give them a chance for one last look in the quarter. 94-79. Shot clock at 17, game clock about 19 and a half. Lowry at the center jump circle right on that fiery basketball, the Heat logo. Everybody else down low. Here comes Zeller. He's going to show screen, and he's six. Lowry against Ingles. Lowry pulls it up for three up top. Well short. Caught by Connaughton. Half-court runner for Holiday is wide right. And the third quarter comes to a close. Did that shot get tipped? The last look there by Lowry, it was so short. Yes, I believe okay. it did. And, of course, he was trying to draw the foul in that possession over having a conversation with Eric Lewis right now about it. He and Joe, Joe Ingles both over there involved in the mix. Kyle Lowry still pleading his case, although we've seen this before. It's not going to work. No. no. But, hey, nothing wrong with having a conversation. Hey, for us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Three quarters in the book here at Miami, and this home crowd is loving it. We're off to the fourth. The Miami Heat lead Milwaukee 94 to 79 here in game three. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. I'm Zoe. I own Muck and Brass, which is an upcycling homewares business. And this is why I switched to Shopify. One of my biggest challenges was the lack of support when I really needed it. And it would always slow down the momentum of my business. With Shopify, I could get hold of a real person quickly. And not only would they solve a problem I had, they'd also give me the tools to feel empowered moving forward. Start your new journey today on Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer 23. So I just got the State Farm personal price plan on my car insurance. So you told your agent you play the bagpipes for your dog? Ah. What? No, I didn't get that personal. My agent just helped me create an affordable price just for me. Okay, let me show you what I've been working on. Hey, Buster! Call State Farm agent Richard Sanchez in Flagstaff today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer. Availability and eligibility may vary. Immerse yourself in the rich culture of Gallup, New Mexico, with its deeply rooted Native American traditions and its people. Its seemingly blending of awe-inspiring art, unique creative works, and Native American jewelry, pottery, sculptures, painting, and woven textiles. Immerse yourself in Gallup's beautiful and picturesque red rocks and the area's wide-open landscapes for hiking, biking, and other breathtaking outdoor adventures. Immerse yourself in the glow of Gallup's neon signs. Immerse yourself in Gallup, Gallup, New Mexico, the gateway to Indian country. See visitgallup.com. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, this is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That non-stop, claw your way to the top, give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV.
702 with you inside of Granger Studios. Jimmy Butler has 30 points as we make the turn of the fourth quarter. Miami's lead was once 20. It's now 15, 94-79. But as Sean Kelly and Corey Alexander noted, Jimmy Butler went to the locker room. I just eavesdrop on Ross Godin Wittes' conversation with Eric Spolstra. Guys, she asked Eric Spolstra, what are you going to do if Butler can't go? His exact response, I'm not even thinking about that. I think in that octave, too. Spolstra then said, he'll be all right. We'll see what happens here in the fourth. Back to you guys. He's thinking about it. He's not thinking He's about thinking it. He's thinking about it. I'm telling it's Jimmy you, Butler. We watched it during the game. Jimmy goes down. He doesn't get back across half court. Spo never even looked at him. He was looking at what was going on at the end of the court. Jimmy limps off the bench. Spo dabs him up like it's nothing new. Jimmy sits down, doesn't see the trainer. He's not thinking about it. He's basically thinking about, hey, we'll win this game without Jimmy here. We'll deal with that later. Good for Spo, because if I'm Miami said coach, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Miami ball to start the fourth. They're in control. 94 to 79 as we begin the fourth quarter of play. I got an eye popping number for you in just a moment regarding Miami and fourth quarter leads, especially big ones. Out of bio, top of the key, shovels it out to Lauro. It's one big now fires through three. That's a really why it's no good. Rebounded by Connaughton. Milwaukee have a run in them. Holiday with 17 points. Step back, pump fake from three. Pitch and catch with Connaughton. Holiday, jump pass into the paint. Connaughton throws out of the color to Allen. Allen drives into the paint and knocked away by Oladipo. But to Holiday, who pumps it up and scores off the broken line. Contact will send Holiday to the line as well. Foul here and a possible three point play. Well, let me tell you what. Drew Holiday can make Eric Spolster think about Jimmy Butler. Because if they get this lead down below <laughs> below 10 in single digits here relatively soon, you will see him thinking about getting Jimmy Butler back into this game as Jimmy has just walked back onto the floor and joined the Miami Heat bench. He has his lower back wrapped right now, possibly with a heat pack. Off the missed free throw, there's a scramble to the floor. One, two, three, four bodies down. And we'll have a jump ball in the circle to our right. Here's that number. Heat are 63 and 0. All time when leading by 10 points or more entering the fourth quarter in the playoffs. Pretty good record. It's a lot to a little. Yes, it is. Actually, it's a lot to none. It's not even a little. Yeah. <laughs> As in, never happened. Never happened. Well, we were saying there, they changed. Yes. Yeah. Maybe not. Lopez and Adebayo will jump for it. That's how we started this game. And the ball is won by Milwaukee. 13 to shoot. Holiday lobs it to. Middleton catching left wing. Right by Lowry, trying to punch it away from him. Middleton kind of drops his down. Lost it, got it back. Goes out to Drew. Two to shoot, one to shoot. Holiday, runner in the paint. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound squirts away from Adebayo. It's going to stay with Milwaukee. There hasn't been a good-looking possession yet for Milwaukee in this point. Chaos. It has been chaos, and give the Heat a lot of credit defensively for what they've been able to do. And just uh, this is the second time we've seen Brook Lopez just take his eyes off the basketball, resulting in a turnover for the Milwaukee Bucks. Lack of concentration at crunch time right now. Uh, the bio catches at the top of the key now for Miami. And off to Duncan Robinson. Glides to his left. Punch is another made three. Robinson cooking. He has 13 minutes long and 12 points scored. Holiday gets under the rim. Goes up to Connaughton. Beats Middleton top of the arc. Little push off. Late whistle. And a runner goes in for Middleton. And probably Middleton should be guilty of an offensive foul. That's what Eric Spolster was talking about. Instead, it's a possible three-point play, and this is going to be whistled on Lowry. Whenever the right arm extends, it normally means that there was a push-off. Chris Middleton not only extended the right arm, he extended the right arm and then was able to get the basketball back in the right hand and shoot it. That should have been an offensive foul, but it ends up being a three-point possession for the Bucs. Now it's a 13-point game, 97-84. Miami's biggest lead has been 20. The Bile picks it up top of the key, flips it dangerously to Duncan, front court left. Drives it into the paint, caught loose by Middleton. Fly ball caught by Adebayo. Works back in. Shoots a fader over Lopez. Back iron no good. Tip follow scored by Kayla Martin. Kayla Martin continuing to make winning plays similar to Jimmy Butler. Just getting involved in the mix. Coming up with 50-50 ball. 
Double figures for Martin off the bench. Lopez turns, shoots left side of the lane, no good. Out of bio, works over Connaughton for the rebound. And then may have walked with it. That's what Budenholzer was hoping for. There's a whistle here to stop play at 947. I believe they called a foul. Yeah, they did. Tough whistle here on Connaughton. And that's just a play where, of course, there was contact on the play, but it was the result more so than anything else. If Dan Adebayo had been able to gather that basketball and get rid of it, there never would have been a call made. Miami ball, they'll bring it across with 940 to go. Adebayo catches a bounce pass, top of the key. Looking for a friend here. Dribble handoff, and Robinson turns the corner. Goes down the lane, wraparound pass under the goal, stolen again. Milwaukee brings it up. Middleton trying to shove it to the right corner. Put off the leg of Martin, and he steals it. Three on one. On the break, ahead to Oladipo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Layup's good. Technical foul called on Mike Budenholzer at the other end. Budenholzer's red hot. This has been building for some time. Budenholzer goes to half court. Eric Lewis has to stop him from getting across the strike. I'm not sure Bud's going to be able to finish this game. No. Nope. And he was going after Kevin Scott, the official at the other end of the floor. Did he want a kick violation call in that yes, steal by Martin? Yes, he absolutely did. And okay. Caleb Martin actually stopped. He stopped for a second, waiting for a whistle. And Chris Middleton, and it happened right in front of Mike Boonholzer along the sideline. But I, honestly, from our angle, it didn't look as though it was his foot. It looked as though Caleb Martin actually got it with his hand. Technical free throw shot and scored by Duncan Robinson. Here is a replay for us on the play, and he oh, definitely kicked it. That was a kick. That's a kick that save. Was and it was right in front of Mike Boonholzer, which is the reason why he's going nuts on that possession, and rightfully so. Well, the Panthers are being love of that. 102-84 now. So two points off the turnover, and then the technical free throw lead back to 18. It's a little zone here by the Heat. Angles feeds Holiday. Wing right. Gonna back down. Lowry threw it uphill and turned it over. Stolen by Caleb Martin. 16th turnover now by Milwaukee. And it was Milwaukee who feasted on Miami turnovers in game two. Robinson down the right to the lane. Lays it up and then he sneaks it past. A would be shot blocking Drew Holiday. This match is the largest lead. We have a timeout called by the Bucks as they advance the pass half court. How about Duncan Robinson stepping up? We talked about the three-point shooting. Now I believe 99 three-point playoff field goals made, but going off the bounce against a great defender in Drew Holiday and getting the bucket at the rim, Duncan Robinson expanding his game. Has not missed a shot tonight. We go to the timeout at 839 to go in the fourth. Miami 104, Milwaukee 84. And you're listening to the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. James C. Harris here for Spencer's TV and Appliance. And right now, during their grand opening sale, you might win $10,000 worth of kitchen appliances. Buy an Amana washer or dryer, only $4.29 each, or an Amana 18.2 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator, only $6.49, and 12 months no interest financing. See store for details. Remember, no matter where you see it, read it, or hear it, Spencer's will beat it. 10 Valley locations. Check them out at Spencer'sTV.com. It's like having a friend in the the business. We live in a day of moral, spiritual, and political decline and decay that looks like everything is headed toward death. Will God intervene and how could God turn the tide before the end of our lives occurs? God raised up a man named Elijah. We're going to study his life in the Bible. God is calling us to be like Elijah. At Fry's, shopping with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in-store. Same low prices, deals, and rewards on the same high-quality items. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for busy families everywhere. Start your cart today at friesfood.com. Fry's, fresh for everyone. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Fry's, fresh for everyone. 
Hey, Santi. Your vitals are looking good. How's the pain today? <sighs> Same. Well, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Did you hear your team just tanked again? Come on. Yeah, I want to help you feel better, but I don't know how to treat a losing streak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying, man, get a touch. At Banner Health, <laughs> this is what care sounds like. Connecting with you where you are. Banner Health. Exhale. With you inside our Granger Studios. Reminder, fourth and final game of the day, Lakers and the Memphis Grizzlies. Last time we had this, Memphis won, and then Dylan Brooks said this regarding LeBron James. I don't care, he's old. Yeah, that was after game two. LeBron's response yesterday. I don't want to talk about sports. Uh, it's going to be a great game. I'm not here for bullshit. I'm ready to play, and that's it. I appreciate it. Now to give you a heads up, I guess there's more than 10 people in attendance at Crypto.com Arena because the... Fans in attendance are cheering every time Dylan Brooks misses a shot and booing every time he touches the ball. That's during warm-ups. This could be spicy tonight. Sean and Corey back to you in Miami. Bring me all the petty, Kevin Winter. Bring me all the petty this <laughs> you, time of year. Are you King Petty? When it comes to college football and this? Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, let's have it. All right. Let's have it. Good to know. 839 to go in the fourth. Miami's up by 20 again, 104-84. It's a 10-5 fourth quarter in favor of the Heat. Holiday catches on the left side of the floor, drives to the left baseline, leads for a diving Allen. It's knocked loose. All those Miami defenders in the paint again. That's the 17th turnover for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've been already led to 21 points in this game. Miami trying to add to that type of bad. Lowry skids, keeps the dribble alive, left of the lane. Shoots off the elbow. I'll tell you what, if you knock that down, we're an and one mixtape territory. Well, right I, there. I was thinking Curly Neal, but okay. I can respect yep. and okay. one mixtape. Here's Portis, open three on the right. Can't get it to go. He says he got hit on uh -oh. the elbow late. Outlet pass out of bio. Euros to the rim. Finger rolls it home. And how about two Milwaukee defenders back, but standing right beside each other is Kyle Lowry. Pulls off his two impression going over the top. Allen left angle three. There you go. Grayson Allen knocks it down. 106.87. Got a two of them. Yeah. Just We've got Michael Daniel here. Yep. Might as well go two in the mix. Duncan Robinson. Have a night. Over to Lowry on the left angle. Pass fake to the corner. Back to Duncan Robinson. Between the rings. Deep three. That's his first missed shot. The rebound deflected off of Middleton, who saves the corner right. That's going to be a problem for Middleton. Lobs it ahead. Portis, left to the lane, goes through two. Middleton for three. Too strong. Rebound tipped and won by Oladipo. Oladipo races past Middleton to the rack, lay it up and in. Might be night night time here in Miami, and it's still 6.54 to go. And what we haven't talked about is the fact that this group stepping up and allowing Eric Spolster to keep Jimmy Butler on the bench by extending the lead. Holiday twisting in the lane, missed it halfway down the paint. Rebound popped out, Allen's got it. Over to Ingles, left wing three, rims off. Punch out, rebound by Portis to Ingles. Into Holiday, touch pass to Middleton, back to Joe Ingles. Drive and kick in the right corner. Portis for three. Line drive, no. Got his own rebound. Okay, Spins, what? pumps, goes out to Allen. There's now Spolstra. feed Holiday top of the arc. Driving a kick. Angle left three. No. And a rebound for Martin from Miami. All I could think was Eric Spolstra is not going to be happy about this possession. They cannot get another offensive rebound. Was that four opportunities? Yes. 38-33 advantage total rebounds now. as this pass is deflected on the bounce corner left. His closer was about to go nuts. He may have run on the floor like Mike Boonholzer did in the previous possession had they gotten another opportunity there. My goodness, Aaron. There is a timeout called by Miami here on that very thought. 6.09 to go. Fourth quarter. 108-87, Miami leads Milwaukee. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. A traditional 15th anniversary gift is Crystal. 
So for Tommy John's 15th year, they're making it crystal clear that you deserve to be unbelievably comfortable every day. When you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Because Tommy John underwear moves with you thanks to breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. And with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, people love their Tommy John underwear. That's why Tommy John doesn't just have customers, they have fanatics who say Tommy John has the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. Plus, there's no risk because everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Get 25% off site-wide now through April 27th at TommyJohn.com slash stream. 25% off site-wide right now at TommyJohn.com slash stream. See site for details. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Just right Y'all gotta try that for right, Bree's car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah. Yeah. With up to 40 days of consistency, all over Bree's car clips right on your bed. Yeah. You know my car is my happy place. Keep a smile on my face yes. when it smells just right, just right, just right. Yeah. Breathe happy for Bree's. La 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 la. la. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. Kevin Witt with you inside of Granger Studios. I want to thank all of you who logged on to our Twitter account at MLB, no, at NBA on ESPN Radio. Major League Baseball is tomorrow night, Kev. You're not doing that till after the finals. At NBA on ESPN Radio. Vote in the auto zone in this old poll question. Uh, 46% of you said Jimmy Butler would be the player to get in the zone tonight. Good choice. He's got 30. He might not have to play in the fourth quarter, which would be a godsend for the Miami Heat, given his back issues. Reminder, Memphis and the Lakers still to come. We have the Kings and the Warriors game for tomorrow. Phoenix already a winner. They're up 3-1. Sixers complete a sweep for the Brooklyn Nets. My goodness, we're just off and running here in round one. Sean and Corey, back to you in South Florida. Yeah, we've had a couple series where that that that's predictable. And then I said, and everything else is up for grabs. That's the kind of regular season we had, partner. I mean, especially in the West. It absolutely has been that. And, again, we're seeing, of course, the one seed most likely going down 2-1 here. But, fortunately for them, we could still see a long series in that 4-5 matchup as well. So I don't think anyone will be getting extra rest moving on to the second-round matchup between these two. Miami will continue here without the services of Jimmy Butler. And a great design play out of the timeout. Robinson threw it in a final out of bio, and then Robinson cut to the rim to catch and lay it in. But only stuff like that could be won when you've got a great passing big like Bam out of bio. One ten eighty seven as a result. Touch pass inside, tip and stolen. It's as if Miami's got six guys defending in the paint tonight. Not surprised if you ever watch Miami. That's heat basketball. Out of bio catches, ISO play here, left side of the lane. A little shimmy shake, works into the color, trying to cross over Portis, lost the handle, stolen by Portis. Portis, headband on, up the right side of the floor. Backs it to Jay Crowder between the circles. Carter will catch now on the left angle. Pump fake, crossover dribble, back to Jay Crowder. Down the right side of the lane, and gets tangled up at Old Depot. Foul on the play, and Jay Crowder will go to the line to the end of our right. And I'm just kind of reading the lineup here for Milwaukee. No disrespect to anyone, but this is not a five that I thought Milwaukee would have on the floor with 522 to go on the fourth, and that must mean it's 11087. Well, I mean, let's look at it from this side, sure. Was this the lineup that you thought Miami would have on the floor? <laughs> no. I mean, you got Duncan Robinson, Victor Oladipo. Of course, Kyle Lowry's a guy that you're used to, and Bam Adebayo used to finishing games, but Caleb Martin on the floor also. So you've got three reserves on the floor right now for the Miami Heat. But those guys have played great throughout this game, especially when you consider Duncan Robinson and Kyle Lowry coming off the bench. They have certainly served well in the absence of Tyler Hero. 
5.15 to play. 110-88 on the made free throws. Martin picks up his dribble between the circles. Bounce pass. The right foul line extended just below it. It's out of bio now holding in his belt. Looks to the paint. Left-hand dribble. Turn, shoots right hand. Jumper falls down for Bam out of bio. He could be so dangerous in that his ball handling ability and ability to get to his mid-range and just use his athleticism to shoot over top. An even bigger defender. Double double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. Let's have five assists there, too. Skip pass, pot corner left, kind of for three. Off the buckle on the rim. Rebound weak side for Martin. Martin, dribble handoff to Robinson. Robinson lifted his heels up, stayed on the floor, pitch and catch without a bio, and Robinson has it back this time, front court right. Robinson lobs inside, out of bio catches, throws corner left, Martin for three. No good. Grabbed by Portis. Wasn't even close. That's the Florida crowd with 420 to go. Portis comes between the legs. Trying to work to the left side of the lane. Gets below the block. Puts it up and missed it with the left hand. Out of bounds. Somehow was perfectly de- uh, positioned defensively. Not the foul. A strong defensive stance right there. Individually, Bob Bam out of bio coming up with the stop. Aradipo, crossover dribble, drives, blows by Portis, got upended oh. and just hurt his knee as he slipped. The ball was thrown up and hit the underside of the rim. So Ladebo immediately grabbing his left knee. I, I'm hoping the look that we're seeing is it scared him a little bit here and that he's okay, but I would not dare to speculate beyond that here. You can see the concern from yeah. his teammates oh, and yeah. everyone on the staff. Mm. Again, I was just trying to be very hopeful by mentioning that. And Miami will take a timeout here. Oh, goodness. And I, I can't tell, partner, I, I didn't see contact. Certainly saw him skid here. No, it was a non-contact yeah. injury. Oh, my goodness. And you see just all of his teammates over. Just trying to comfort him right now. And Victor Oladipo is very calm. Yet, he is basically giving the impression that something is wrong. And when you see the entire staff and team out on the floor surrounding him. Did you get a catch of that replay in your eye? Yeah, he non-contact injury. I mean. So, this place is. Nearly fallen silent, for respecting the situation, obviously. Yeah, everything that's gone so well for the Miami Heat in this one, this could be a damaging blow to the Heat. Victor Oladipo, who's battled back from injuries for the past four or five seasons. Oladipo is upright, but needing assistance to get off the floor. Now I think they're going to take all the weight off of his legs. The tunnel to the locker room is is basically behind the Miami bench. It's not like you would go to a corner here. The shortest route to the training room is right through the bench area and then underneath us. And so Oladipo here was driving on Bobby Portis. And when his left knee gave out, he started falling backwards, slid, and then and got airborne and came down on his backside. And he shaked his head, uh, no, 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 when he ended up underneath the goal. So we wish Victor Oladipo the best here as he exits at 3.56 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 112-88, Miami on top of Milwaukee. And Oladipo's teammates... Might have a tough time kind of gathering themselves here to finish this thing tonight. It seems pretty clear at this point they're going to go on to a 2-1 series lead. Victor Oladipo had a large part to do with this building of the 24-point lead here, especially in the second half. He stepped up and made a number of big plays offensively and defensively. And you just hope for the best for Victor Oladipo at this point. Haywood Highsmith has come in and will shoot the free throws in the place of Victor Oladipo. And Highsmith knocks down the first. 
Tonight's attendance is sellout, 19,734. Our attendance tracker is always brought to you by Vivid Seats, where you earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats Rewards is your ticket to more tickets. Vivid Seats, life happens live. So Miami now with Martin Zeller, Highsmith, Lowry, and Duncan Robinson on the floor. Milwaukee looks to finish here with a couple of new guys out on the floor as well, including Marjan Bochamp. Bochamp. Warren Dragic, the former member of this Heat team, is on the floor now for Milwaukee as Crowder shoots a jumper at the free throw line, no good. And partner, this game's going to play itself out here under a little bit of a call. Robinson straight away for three. That's good. Now Robinson had himself one heck of a night off the bench. He has 20 points with five made threes. And a whistle here to stop play and allow Yurtsevin to check in. Yurtsevin, who kind of had injury derail the start of his career, comes on now. And I still think he's got a bright future ahead of him. He kind of fell behind in the rotation. He finds himself in a great spot, though, of course. The Miami Heat organization has been known for their development. And a loose ball foul now. And two guys banged up going for a rebound off of a long miss. Caleb Martin is last to get up for Miami. Caleb Martin holding that right shoulder. And right now, both these coaches just wanting to get this game over with and get all their guys off the floor as safely and healthy as possible. And collision here, Martin and Goran Dragic. And Dragic will go to the free throw line on this loose ball foul. And although we're talking about a you know, 29-point game right now, this is 318 is a lot of time. It is. It's a lot of time to be played in the remainder of this game. So both coaches expecting for the guys on the floor to finish this the right way. Well, Dragic knocks down the free throws. It's 117.90. Game four is Monday night here in Miami. Drive to the rim by Martin, ball deflected away. Saved by Miami. Martin hands it off to Robinson, goes over his shoulder, back to Martin. Three ball, left to the top of the arc, no good. Rebound tipped, and all the hustle gives Miami another look. Martin left wing three, good. Long two, says the near side official. And I believe we've got, is that UD coming up off the bench? Oh, bit? yes, indeed. Rockets. Bounce pass to Crowder, top of the key, down the lane, floater and runner. That was good. I'll give it a float. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give it a float. <laughs> down the floor. <laughs> you wanted to say floater, so I'm gonna let you say it, that, even though you made it. <laughs> look, when you lob it up and your body gets under the apex of the shot, that's a float. It's all about the release. That's remember, right. yes. if the wrist flicks, if we hear the ovation as Udonis Haslam steps onto the floor and. What he's already determined will be his last season donning the Miami Heat uniform, getting some playoff action. The 15-year captain. And, of course, being defended by Jay Crowder, who spent time as a teammate here with the Miami Heat. Has a way left jumper trying to bank it in. Tim Duncan style. Off the rim, no good. And the Florida Gator backpedals to the other end defense. I knew you were going to get it in. Has it. Jumper at the foul line, knocked down by Bochamp. But you go back and we talked about, you know, Omer, you're at seven, and you think about the development which happens within the Miami organization. There's no greater story than what Udonis has, of course, who dropped about 100 pounds coming in to this organization. And as you mentioned, for the last 15 seasons, has been a captain, has been here, of course, to usher not only as a young player with the Alonzo Mourning era, but also the Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen championship eras as well, and now the Jimmy Butler era. So UD has been a large part of this organization for a very long time. 11997. I didn't even say it was two minutes for a lot of cycle. I'm not going to fight back that far. Back. Yeah, nice finish there. Haywood Highsmith, who Came in for Oladipo's left with injury. Wraparound pass. Should have been a track loss to catch. Oh, good to Bochamp. Thought about punching it home on somebody. Lost the handle. Crowder steals it from a lazy Duncan Robinson release. And lays it in. 121.99. This is academic now. 
The number one seed is going to trail in this series two games to one. And we'll have to play another road game again on Monday night. And what will the status of Giannis and Tedekumbo be on Monday? A bigger seven sprinted out to set his screen. However, he left his shoe behind him, so he's having to put his shoe back on. His UD lines up to three, unable to knock it down in the corner. He caught the rim and the glass. That's what he's going in. 42 seconds remaining. Everybody's got their shoes back on. <laughs> Manassas and Tedekumbo has checked in. He'll clear out some space for Bochamp on the left side of the lane. Pass back up top. Shot fake to Dragic. Pass fake. Goes for the layup. Got tipped one high off the glass and grabbed by Miami. 20 on the shot clock. 24 game clock. Robinson advances across half court. They'll take the shot clock violation here likely. And those who remain from the sold out crowd have the white hot towels waving. As the Miami Heat have taken games one and three now in this one versus eight series. 16 three pointers for the Miami Heat. 30 points from Jimmy Butler. 20 from Duncan Robinson off the bench. And they hold, they hold the Milwaukee Bucks to 99 points. We've got a final here in game three. It belongs to the Miami Heat. 121 to 99. Outside of the early flurry by Drew Holiday, the Miami Heat controlled this game for its entirety. Jimmy Butler, of course, got off to a great start, 17 first quarter points, and from there, the Heat never looked back so much so Jimmy Butler did not have to even step on the floor in the fourth quarter, still ends the game with 30 points. Miami won every quarter tonight. And they got a double-double as well from Bam Adebayo, who's one of our stars of the game. Bam, Sean Kelly, Corey Alexander with ESPN Radio. We're upstairs behind you. Congratulations on the win tonight and uh, for the advantage in this series. Uh, yeah, man. You know, we, we got one in Milwaukee, and, you know, we're trying to protect home court. Bam, of course, for you, you're not used to – I mean, you're not new to playoff action, but you are new to being an eight seed in the playoffs. How did your team take on this task, and why is it that you guys are up 2-1 right now over the one seed? Uh, man, fighting, you know, scrappy. Uh, and, you know, it, it's that underdog mentality. And, you know, we had this whole season, everybody always counts us out. But, you know, when they get in the playoffs, it's a different ball game, man. You know, we we scrapping it, and we find a ways to win. And, Bam, of course, I go back with you probably to when you were about 13 years right. old. You've always had that underdog mentality. <laughs> So is that the part of the reason why Miami Heat was such a great fit for you? Yeah, man. You know, it, it fits my bloodline, it fits my culture, uh, and you know the the work ethic and you know how guys go about go about winning and how we go about you know handling ourselves and what we do. Uh, it, it perfect fit. It seemed like the classic Miami Heat defensive approach tonight. Would you agree? Yes. Uh, deflection stops. You know, some of them some of them too physical, getting fouled, but. You know, we like it that way. We rather be too aggressive than not aggressive enough. Okay, so I've said that you right now are the second best point center in the league behind Nikola Jokic, all right? What can you do to become the best point center in the game? Get a lot more triple doubles and a lot more stops. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel like a ring would, would, would do me justice. Well, you guys, you put yourself in a good position here in this round one series. How do you carry it to my, Monday night, Bam? Man, just keep playing with that same intensity in front of this crowd, man. I mean, y'all hear it when it gets live in here. Y'all hear it when we make shots and, and how we can get things done. So, you know, playing in front of these fans, they're our sixth man. Well, the birthday boy, Duncan Robinson, gave all of us a gift tonight. He had 20, and Jimmy Butler did Jimmy Butler playoff things. Yes, sir. And you guys are up 2-1. Bam, congratulations, and thanks for the visit. Yes, sir. Bam Adebayo, one of our stars of the game tonight. Again, a double-double for Bam. Let's not forget he also had... Five assists at last check, so that's a part of Miami doing Miami things as well. That's him, and he does it all. And, of course, he is a matchup problem for everyone that he plays against. His ability to handle the basketball, make plays on the perimeter, sets him apart as a big man, but also can do all the big man things. What will you think about tomorrow morning when you look back at this game? Honestly, my biggest thing right now is praying for the safety and health of, of, of Victor Oladipo. That's the concern right now. Of course, a great win for the Miami Heat, but – could be a significant loss for them and the guy who spent so much time working to get back 
I hate seeing Vic go down like that. So really more of my concern right now is about him. Well said, partner. One last note here. Teams that win game three of a best of seven series go on to win the series 73% of the time. Long way to go in this one. And we do realize it's the Milwaukee Bucks on the other end of this equation right now. But tonight. Well, right now, what we've seen is a lot of heat-like things, and the reason is because they've got so many guys stepping up. Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Victor Oladipo coming in off the bench. Caleb Martin as well. These guys are hitting threes, but they're doing the job defensively as well. To go along with Jimmy Butler, who is Mr. Heat right now, and who has gotten off to a great first half. But this has been a very heat-like performance from the Miami Heat, although the three-point shooting is not something we've seen from them often. Are we all overlooking the fact that it was this time last year that Miami was the number one seed and now they're Now through April 27th at TommyJohn.com slash stream. 25% off site wide right now at TommyJohn.com. Ran away and hid with this one against Milwaukee and the Heat. Now with a 2-1 series lead. That's next. This is the NBA playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. A traditional 15th anniversary gift is Crystal. So for Tommy John's 15th year, they're making it crystal clear that you deserve to be unbelievably comfortable every day. When you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Because Tommy John underwear moves with you thanks to breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. And with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, people love their Tommy John underwear. That's why Tommy John doesn't just have customers, they have fanatics who say Tommy John has the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. Plus, there's no risk because everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Get 25% off site-wide now through April 27th at TommyJohn.com slash stream. 25% off site-wide right now at TommyJohn.com slash stream. See site for details. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Susan has always wanted to live in a chateau. I like a certain je ne sais quoi. While Jake is more into the Cape Cod style home. It's a classic look. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they can save even more. In the end, Susan and Jake found a Cape Cod style home where they will only speak French. Bonjour, je tame, uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, cordon bleu. You'll get better with time. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. The UK's best-selling pre-workout just crashed your UFC Fight Week party. Introducing All Black Everything at the Vitamin Shop. This muscle-building fat burner comes in drinks with flavors like grape soda and fruit candy, or powders in Ultimate Red Hawaiian, Ultimate Tropical Vibes, and All Batty Everything. An exclusive collab with UFC lightweight Patty the Batty Pimblat. What's happening, people? All Batty Everything in Batty Betty flavor. It's a belter. So, try All Black Everything or All Batty Everything at VitaminShop.com or any of the vitamin shop store today. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio. And on the ESPN app. Kevin Winter with you inside our Granger Studios. Lakers and the Grizzlies are about to tip off from Los Angeles. Crypto.com Arena, second game of the day there. Phoenix beats the Clippers earlier today. 
Lakers Grizzlies series side at one. That is game three. We're going to be back with you tomorrow afternoon and beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We have coverage of game four between the Warriors and the Sacramento Kings. Sacramento still leads that series by a count of two games to one. Our game flow tonight is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path of flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. Story of the game coming in? No Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Milwaukee Bucks. That back injury kept him out for a second straight game. Milwaukee would lead by seven early, and then they would not. Butler for three, stroked it. And look at here now, Miami's grabbed the lead 22 to 21. Jimmy's in playoff mode right now. We're seeing playoff Jimmy, a.k.a. playoff Jimmy, showing up here. Playoff Jimmy activated. Wild. Into the paint. Digging in was Howard and knocked it loose. Bam picks it up. Scoops it out to Butler. Wing left for three. Oh, boom. Butler's got himself a heck of a quarter now. 17 in the opening period. He would finish with those 17. He would also have 12 during a closing 14 nothing run. Miami would have the lead at the end of one. They would never look back. Lopez catches at the dotted line. Steps back. Shoots from the foul line. I missed that. The pile stole the rebound from his own teammate. Reach over the dome is Lowry. And brings it up. Stops to the nail. Turns. Chucks it out to Duncan Robinson. Birthday boy for three. Left side. Yep. What a run now for Miami, whose lead has grown to 13, 34 to 21. A 19 0 run. 19 0. Grow bigger. A little deeper on the move. Leads for a leaning Robinson in the three. Good. He just passed Dwayne Wade. 98 career postseason three pointers. Three here in the early goings of this one. And Miami pops their lead up to 14. To this was all Miami the tonight. Middle 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 trying to shove it to the three right corner. Miami had the lead. Third quarter. Butler got it by Holiday. Out to Love. Shot fake. Rumbles to the rim. Kicks from under the gold. The right wing. Swoops. Buries the three pointer off the catch. Nice find from Kevin Love. Going off the bounce. Realizing he has the advantage. Butler up top for three. Line drive down for Butler. He's got 28 points. Speaking of playoff time, playoff Hemi has been here. And not just here, he's been involved for all three games of this series. Here comes Love, sets the screen, Butler turns, goes down the lane, double pumper in the air and lays it in. He went down hard, and he's slipping to the other end, but now it's 30 for Butler. Demi Butler would finish with those 30. He would not return to the game, went back to the locker room, came back to the bench with a huge pack on his back, but Miami didn't need him to play in the fourth. This was all Miami tonight. Middleton trying to shove it to the right corner. Put off the leg of Martin, and he steals it. Three on one. On the break ahead to Oladipo. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Layup's good. Technical foul called on Mike Budenholzer at the other end. Budenholzer's red hot. This has been building for some time. Budenholzer goes to half court. Eric Lewis has to stop him from getting across the strike. Now, Mike Budenholzer was mad that a kickball on Miami was not called a kickball. Play was allowed to continue. His team was getting absolutely punked tonight. But with all due respect, he was right. There was a kickball, and it happened right in front of the official. And they just let it go. And they continue to let it go. Portis, left the lane, goes through two, middle tip for three. Too strong. Rebound tipped and won by Oladipo. Oladipo races past Middleton to the rack, lay it up and in. Might be night night time here in Miami, and it's still 6.54 to go. It is our getting it done. Play the game brought to you by Granger. Just like basketball, your business wins with speed. Granger's fast delivery means industrial supplies and solutions get to you with speed that you need. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Miami wins 121.99. There is some concern in this game, and Sean said it correctly 
This game finishes amidst a bit of an appalling. Oladipo, crossover dribble, drives, blows by Portis, got upended and just hurt his knee as he slipped. The ball was thrown up and hit the underside of the rim. Oladipo immediately grabbing his left knee. I, I'm hoping the look that we're seeing is it scared him a little bit here and that he's okay, but I would not dare to speculate beyond that. Kyle Lowry and many others would go right over to Victor Oladipo. Oladipo would need help getting to the basket, uh, getting to the bench. They would eventually take all the weight off the left knee. Oladipo immediately grabbed his left knee. Sean's right on the hopefully that it's a scaring part. We'll see how it turns out. But Victor Oladipo has gone through an awful lot when it comes to injuries in his career. Left this game late and it kind of cast a bit of a a little bit of a downer on this matchup tonight, but Miami wins at 121.99, lead this best of seven series by a count of two games to one. Game number four, back into Miami on Monday night. Kevin Orange with you inside our Granger Studios. Update time in Los Angeles. Uh, LeBron James activated tonight. Dylan Brooks, I don't know if you woke him up or not, but LeBron's got a couple already. Lakers have an 8-2 lead over Memphis. Uh, Memphis has two points. We've played almost three and a half minutes of this basketball game, 840 to go in the first quarter. Games airing on ESPN television. Up next on the NBA Tonight Post Game Show, we'll check in with Kyle Lowry of the Miami Heat. His team takes a 2-1 lead. The eight seed up 2-1 on the Bucks. That's next. This is the NBA Playoffs on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. 